on Fox 53. This is a presentation of Fox Sports. It's a gorgeous day in Glasgow. Perfect weather to play for championship. And that's exactly what we have for you as World Bowl 11 wraps up the NFL Europe League season. But of course, when in Scotland, you must do as the Scottish do. So along with my partner, Brian Baldinger, we headed into the center of Glasgow, the fashion district, if you will, to get a little lesson on how we might wind up being cover boys for the Scottish version of Vanity Fair. Right name right after you, huh? From Glasgow, Scotland, it's the championship game of the NFL Europe League as the Rhine Fire and the Frankfurt Galaxy battle it out in World Bowl 11. Hello again, everyone, along with my partner Brian Baldinger, and feeling a little freer today for some reason. Well, in Scotland, Kurt, <laughs> real men wear kilts. It's a formal event, it's World Bowl 11, and we're here to celebrate it. Well, I'm Kurt Menefee, he is Brian Baldinger, and Baldy, we're here for the championship game of the NFL Europe League, World Bowl 11. And I think the key word there, Kurt, is championship, because most of these players have never won a championship at any level. And they started back in February in training camp, so four months later, here they are with brand new skill sets that they're going to take back to training camp in July, and then I think also they want to leave with the ring. Well, you, you take a look at these teams, and let's look at the matchup. Top two teams in all of NFL Europe. Let's begin with a high-powered offense for that Frankfurt Galaxy squad. Yeah, and the Galaxy, Kurt, they really rely on the big play, especially the wide receivers. Mark Lester and Robert Baker, they combined for 13 touchdown catches this year. They're explosive, and they really live on that big play. Meanwhile, the Rhine Fire in the World Bowl for the second straight year, but looking to win it this time around. Yeah, and the Rhine Fire are so consistent because every year they rely on the running game, and they're really good in the interior of the offensive line. Left guard Pat Crummy, Dustin Keith at center, and Jim Jones, the right guard, are good at paving a way for the league's second leading rusher, Archery Denson. If that name rings a bell, he is Notre Dame's all-time leading rusher. And a former member of the Miami Dolphins now with the Detroit Lions. All right, remember to close your legs when you sit down. That's, that's Real men wear kilts, Kurt. Yeah, I got it. As long as you remember that. All right, we'll be back with the opening kickoff from Hampton Park here in Glasgow, Scotland. World Bowl 11 is next. Charging Jeff Gordon gun for NASCAR's top spot as he chases points leader Matt Kenneth. Every point counts. Winston Cup Racing, tomorrow, 12.30 Eastern, 9.30 Pacific, on Fox. Fox tonight. Cops brings back Coco the hooker busting clown. So, uh, how about a little clown action? And he's not fooling around. <laughs> Cops. Then, police say this dance instructor is really a sexual predator who killed one of his students. Help us find him. America's Most Wanted. It all starts at 8, 7 Central tonight on Fox. Verizon, putting together the most extreme package of services ever. It's Verizon Freedom All! Woo! It's local, long distance, internet and wireless. On one bill, for one low price. Call 1-800-361-7302 to sign up, and you can save over $350 a year. Put it together and get the freedom of unlimited calling from home. Across town, across the country, even to Canada. Plus unlimited nights and weekends on your cell phone. And 300 minutes of weekday talk through. Plus high-speed internet access and awesome calling services like caller ID and home voicemail on just one bill. Call 1-800-361-7302 to sign up, and you can save over $350 a year. When you get it all together, everything just falls into place. Verizon. Make progress every day. Albie Oxenrider on Pittsburgh's Most Watched 10 o'clock newscast on Fox 53. Royal Air Force providing a flyover for us here at Hampton Park and also providing commentary on the sideline. A longtime member of the Scottish Claymores. More catches than any receiver in the history of the NFL Europe League and more fun hat than a lot of guys have had as well. The Scotsman himself, Scott Cooper, the third member of our crew down on the sideline. Scott? Hi, thanks for that, guys. 
Yes, each NFL Europe team has eight non-American national players. That makes 48 guys around the league. 49 non-Americans, if you include Scott McCready, the English-born receiver who was allocated by the New England Patriots to the Claymores this year. And these guys play all over the field, offense and defense. And they're from all over the world as well, from far away as Nigeria, Japan, Turkey, Mexico. And there are some great ones out there today. Keep your eyes out for Marco Suma, receiver for the Frankfurt Galaxy, and Bastian Lano, who dominates in the right fire defensive line. But back to you guys. All right, Scotty, good job there, buddy. Hey, that guy is a pro. He's got a, he's got a career future. That's a yeah, we transition get from wide receiver to the booth. Frankfurt has won the toss and will receive here as we begin World Bowl 11. Brian McDonald takes it. Makes a couple of moves and finally brought down at the 25-yard line. And so we'll get our first look at the Galaxy on offense. Number two ranked offense during the regular season. And they are led by the former University of Texas quarterback James Brown. He'll play the first quarter. The backup Quinn Gray, who is a member of the Jacksonville Jaguars, will come in in the second quarter. The coaches will decide after that. First down, ball just at the 26-yard line. Brown to the air right away, and he completes that first pass out to his Miami Dolphin wide receiver. Robert Baker picks up 14 yards and a first down. Up front for the Galaxy, a big offensive line led by the Falcons. Michael Moore at left guard, a member of the All-NFL Europe team this regular season. And among the backs and receivers, you already saw Robert Baker in action. He and Mark Lester from the Baltimore Ravens, the best receiving tandem in all of NFL Europe this season. Last time these two teams played two weeks ago, both of those receivers went over 100 yards in receiving. First down at the 40. Jonas Lewis, the ex-49er, runs it right up the middle of the field into Ryan territory. Finally dragged down at the 38-yard line to give him a gain of 23. Uh, they run a fake reverse motion by Corey Dickerson here, and it caught Ryan a little bit of a sleep. You see a good push right here in the middle, and a lane open up in the middle. Now, this is where a running back skills take over. That's vision, being able to see to the outside and then use his talent to get there. So first down at the Ryan 38. Brown. Out of the backfield, and that's dropped by Robert Gillespie. Well, this Ryan Fire defense ranked second in the league this season to Frankfurt. They've had some injuries, especially in the last game of the season, so Derek Hamm will make his first start of the year. That linebacker, they've got a good one from the Arizona Cardinals and Charles Burton, tied for the league league in tackles this season. And their safeties are their best players, Greg Brown and Abdul Howard from the Jacksonville Jaguars. Play fake on second down. Brown has the time and just overthrew a wide open Robert Baker. You know, Kurt, Scott Cooper said that each of these teams consists of eight national players. Players not born in the United States. Some of them have played there. Some of them have played on NFL teams. The other 40 players are all American players. And some of them are allocated by NFL teams getting work here. Others are free agents looking to sign with the team. And NFL teams around the league will be scouting this tape, looking for prospects to bring to camp. Brown working from the shotgun, needing the 28-yard line for the first. In trouble. Buys time and escapes a couple of guys, but couldn't make it. Bastian Lano, the German national player, was the first guy to get him. And so Frankfurt will have to settle for a field goal attempt. And James Brown played here last year in Scotland for the Scottish Claymores. He never started a game in this stadium. He was a backup last year, played, but never started. And so some jitters here wanting to show the fans of Scotland that he's deserving of a start. John Hilbert on for a 53-yard field goal attempt. That's worth four points here in NFL Europe. And it's good. John Hilbert, the former Dallas Cowboy, Carolina Panther, Gets a four-point field goal to put Frankfurt on the board first.
The Home Depot is more than a store. It's a toy box for dads. And during Dad Days, now through June 15th, it's the best place to find the perfect gift for dad. Like if you're looking to get him a mower, tools, or a select pressure washer, there's no interest or payments until June 2004 on purchases of $299 or more. Just use your consumer credit card. Perfect gifts, no payments or interest, and guaranteed everyday low prices will make Dad smile. The Home Depot. You can do it. We can help. Fox Tuesday. You've seen them strut their stuff. How dare you give me so much pleasure? And heard what the parents have to say. I think it's unfair she didn't make it. Now, meet the celebrity judges and cast your own vote when the first ten finalists perform live on stage and put their fate in your hands. You decide. You vote. American Juniors at 8, 7 Central Fox Tuesday. Eddie Arlette is a New York cop in London. He may be miles away from home. You feeling lucky, punk? But he and his new roommate are worlds apart. You know what would be good? What's that? Do you food poisoning? Keen Eddie, all new. 98 Central Fox Tuesday. World Bowl 11 on Fox is brought to you by The Home Depot. Driving down the cost of home improvement. And by Allstate. You're in good hands with Allstate. From Glasgow, Scotland, we've got two German teams playing for the championship of NFL Europe. Frankfurt scored on his first possession and leads it 4-0. Well, these are the two most successful franchises in this league over there. are six teams here. Frankfurt and Rhine, both of them have been here now for their fifth time. The Rhine Fire play in Gelsenkirchen, which is just outside of Dusseldorf. Back to receive the kickoff from John Hilbert. Kendall Newson backs him all the way up into his end zone, and Newson, the leading kick returner in all of the league this season, won't get a chance to return here. What did, what did Hilbert have for breakfast? He kicked a 53-yard field goal, and then that kickoff. Well, it was his first uh, field goal over 50 yards all year. He's now one for five, but sometimes it's a championship game. Players find new endorphins. You know, things kick into them when it's a championship, and you get spectacular performances and big games from guys. Quarterback for the Ryan Fire from the Denver Broncos, number 12, Nick Rolovich, will play the first quarter. Chris Bryson gets the second, and then the coaches will decide at halftime. Rolovich goes to the air right away, gets it out to Newsom, and Newsom diving forward, trying to get that first down. Chris Pointer brought him down with a tackle. And Rolovich, all season long, has played the first quarter with Bryson playing the second, and usually they alternate in the second half, but the coaches, with this being a championship game, Choosing to go a little bit differently today. Well, it's a one game takes all. So whoever gets the hot hand, they're going to stay with them. To this point, it's been fair. They've split equal time, but in the championship game, whoever gets hot is going to stay in the game. Eight yard gain by Newson. And there's Newson picks up enough for the first down as he fights his way out to the 39 yard line before Chris Pointer tackled him again. Well, the Ryan Fire offense led by that strong offensive line. I know Baldy, the right guard, Jim Jones from the Baltimore Ravens you think may be the best player in the entire league. You've already seen Kendall Newson in action at wide receiver, and Autry Denson is going to be a key in the running game today. Well, Ryan has come out and completed their first two passes, Kurt. Peter Morelli, our referee today, having his first conversation down on the field. We've got 12 men in the huddle for Frankfurt. Well, Looks like... So they decline the penalty and take the yardage so we have a first down. Well, that's Mike Jones in your picture there. He's the offensive coordinator. Uh, Frankfurt likes to play their corners off, about 8 to 10 yards off. And right now, Ryan is just taking advantage of this area right here. Rolovich. Quick pass. This is to one of his other wide receivers, Charlie Adams. And Adams picked up about 2 yards on the play. Well, the Frankfurt Galaxy defense finished the regular season as the number one ranked defense in all the league. They've got a strong front four led by a couple of Seahawks. Joey Evans led the league in, se or second in the league in sacks, pardon me. Louis Almanzer made the all-league team. Fred Jones, their leading tackler, is the middle linebacker. And in the secondary, their strength as well lies in their safeties. Rashidi Barnes, number 28, the defensive player of the year. Autry Denson gets his first carry, and he's wrapped up almost immediately by... Fred Jones, give him a yard, maybe a yard and a half. You know, Autry Denson, who just carried the ball, I mean, you think about Notre Dame football, the history of it. 
and how people follow it around the world. And he's the all-time leading rusher in the history of that program. Now, he's played in Miami, and he's, he's been in Detroit. He came over here because he really hasn't had a great opportunity in the NFL. He just wants to show the league and to Detroit that he's a playmaker that can hold up and that he's got good skills still at that position. They need to get right to the midfield strike for the first down. Rolovich. Adams goes up but can't pull it down. Incomplete. Fighting with Chris Cummings right there, who uh, made a nice play to prevent the catch from being made. Well, what Frankfurt did was they gave Ryan a couple of easy completions, and then what the key to the whole series was, they stopped him in the running game. And that's really the whole game today. Can Ryan run the ball or can't they? And if they can't, it's going to be a long day because everything they do comes off the run. Robert Baker from the Miami Dolphins, a dangerous punt return man. Already returned two for touchdowns this year. That high snap is Watch caught. It. Jay Baker gets it off. And Robert Baker picks it up, doesn't get very far before being brought down right at the 21-yard line. 42 yards on the punt, five on the return. We'll get to see number five, James Brown, take over when we come back. Okay, let's say this is your car and you get into an accident. Oh, boy. If you take it to an Allstate recommended repair shop, they'll fix it, so you're pretty happy. You're like, ooh, I'm pretty happy. Even better, Allstate guarantees the workmanship for as long as you own the car, which means if even the smallest thing goes wrong, you don't have to pay for it, so you're still happy. You're like, ooh, I'm still happy. So there you go, the Allstate lifetime repair guarantee. Call now and find out how you're in good hands with Allstate. Welcome back to the Haviland 500 and checking the Haviland running order. The Haviland 42 car is moving up. Yeah, boy, take a look at that Haviland Speedo and Haviland Pack on McMurray's ride. That's time to slap with a Haviland stopwatch. That Haviland temperature gauge says his engine's running good. It's time to pay some bills. Folks, this race is brought to you by, uh... Haviland Motor Oil. Yep, now back to racing. I tell you what, it's easy to see why Jamie's doing so well. And thanks for these beautiful overhead shots from the Haviland Blimps. My name is David. I play offense. I play center. I play guard. I play defense. Vincent and I play linebacker. I play running back. I play fullback. My name's Casey and I play football. I really hate the way I live now. I hate my life now. Maybe my next life, I have a better life. Beyond the Glory on Fox Sports Net. Stop! Good job! Good job! What are we doing over here? Go! Man! Man! Shot! Straight 88! One short in! Straight 88! One short in! Hot! It's your lead! Woo! Keep on trucking! It ain't even over yet! Taking you on the sideline, on the field, in the huddle, and everywhere. We've got six members of these two teams wearing microphones today, so we'll be able to listen in throughout the game as to what's going on on the field and on the sideline as well. Yeah, players and coaches, Kurt, hear from both of them, both sides, and all of the communication that has to take place for the, the greatest team game going to take place. Frankfurt begins their second possession just across the 20. Jonas Lewis. Oh, shit. Lewis. Picked up five yards on the run. Four yards on the run. Nice job by Lewis. Charles Burton in there with the tackle. Uh, Charles Burton now, you know, he needs to have a big game today. They've got to snuff the running game, and that's what you want from your playmaker on defense. And Burton that time did a good job laterally coming down the field, down the line, and then wrapping Jonas Lewis up. Burton missed practice time this week with a strained groin. So they're hoping that he can go throughout this game. To the air again. Quick strike caught by Mark Lester. Makes a move. And is dragged down by Burton after getting past Teddy Gaines. Good enough for another first down. This time, 22 yards. Yeah, and you know, James Brown looks pretty sharp here. I mean, he's hitting he really that does. fifth step and getting the ball out quick. You know, he said that his goal of coming back here this year was to be the MVP of the league. Now, he wasn't, but you can be the MVP of the championship game, and that's a better thing. And he's off to a good start, really directing this offense 
in a sharp manner. Ball at the 33-yard line. Jonas Lewis again. And Lewis dances for another four-yard pickup. Now, you talk about Charles Burton. He played with a pulled groin and missed most of practice this week, but it's like he's been in a cage all week, too, because he's coming... And he's coming on some collisions now. I mean, he's getting a running start. Yeah. And Frankfurt's one of the few teams, only one of only two teams in this league that plays with a fullback, Corey McIntyre. And he's had some head-banging collisions early in this game. They know each other already. Off the play fake. Brown in trouble. Just throws it out there, and lucky it wasn't intercepted intended, at least in the direction of that fullback, Corey McIntyre. Well, it's apparent right now. You know, Frankfurt, the last time they played two weeks ago, got embarrassed 38-7 to in Frankfurt. And in that game, Frankfurt had three big plays, you know, that really turned the game around. And right now, it looks to me like the Ryan Fire. They're just not going to allow them the time for big plays to develop. They are attacking the line of scrimmage. On third down, Frankfurt has to get it to the 23-yard line for the first. Brown. Going deep. Brian McDonald tries to one-hand it. Here come the flags. Lemuel Ligon may have gotten there a bit early. And it came from the back judge. It came from the back judge and not the side judge. I thought who had a better look at it. Pass interference against Ryan is indeed the call. Well, I talked about that two weeks ago. There were big plays happening in the game. Passenger number 20 on the defense in the end zone. Ball will be placed on the one-yard line. First down. Well, Brian McDonald gets behind Tony Lukens here. And Lemuel Ligon, I say, excuse me. Lemuel Ligon, he gets behind him. Ligon, who doesn't see the ball, grabs the left arm of McDonald, and that was the interference. And it's a good call. First and goal from the one-yard line. Jonas Lewis, oh, wide open. How easy was that? Touchdown, Frankfurt Galaxy. All set up by the defensive pass interference, just like it did two weeks ago. How you play the ball in the air in the National Football League determines the outcome of games. And right now, Frankfurt's playing the ball better in the air. And Ralph Kleiman makes the extra point. So Frankfurt goes up 11-0. Lemuel Ligon on the sideline trying to explain exactly what happened on that big pass interference penalty that set up the game's first touchdown. Father's Day. Fox is bringing you network-wide savings on everything in stock. With huge deals on our entire lineup of comedy. Knock yourselves out. Get a Futurama never before available to the public. See two King of the Hill for the price of one. Treat the whole family to free samples of The Simpsons. Uh, hey, I didn't have my stomach let out for nothing. Plus, watch Juan Malcolm get an Oliver Bean tree. Everything must go. Hey, get out. I'm in here. Oh. Come early. Sale starts at 7, 6 Central, Fox Sunday. Come on, Cupcake. You can do it. Come on. When you're fishing for refreshment, a hard mics is good to find. Making mics. When you think about the most important moments in your life, what were you wearing? Every man should own at least one suit. We invite you to buy yours from us. 100% wool suits, starting at $200. You're going to like the way you look. I guarantee it. Men's Warehouse. To contact the store nearest you, call 1-800-776-SUIT. Seinfeld, one of the Fox 53 classic comedies. Weeknights at 7.30. Well, during the regular season, Ryan and Frankfurt, two German neighbors, have the fiercest rivalry in NFL Europe today. They're playing for the league championship. Frankfurt on top, 11-0, but 
like the Super Bowls go to a different city. This game is now in Glasgow, Scotland, and we go back down to the field for the third member of our crew, a native Glaswegian, Scott Cooper. Thanks, Scott. Yes, American football, as we call it, has been established in Europe now for, for a number of decades. Some of the big names we hear are the Cologne Crocodiles, the uh, Dusseldorf Panthers, the London O's, the Edinburgh Wolves. These are teams who play in the capital cities all over Europe. One of the great things, though, is that flag football for, for kids has really taken off around the world, and especially in Europe. There's a lot of schools running it now, so more and more kids have been exposed through the world of American football earlier. Here in Scotland, there are now over 150 clubs playing American football, so the future looks very bright for the sport here. Thank you. All right. I can tell we've been in Scotland a long time. I understand him now. <laughs> you can actually understand him now, huh? <laughs> I thought it was a foreign language a couple of weeks ago. Audrey Denson takes the kickoff at the four-yard line. Won't get much stopped after a return of about 15 yards by Chris Young. Well, you know, Scott's talking about football in Europe. You know, they got 40 universities here, just in Scotland, that are playing college football. You know, and so, and you know, and they're trying, they, they don't know how to take a divot out of their helmet either. And Hugo Lira, the Mexican national player. Yeah, and one of the fastest guys on their team, and he's getting an opportunity, a national player. And the coaches had a, took about six weeks before they could understand Spanish well enough to tell him to go cover a kick. They need to learn Spanish to get the divot out of your helmet. Yeah. Frank Moreau Good now on it tail back for the Ryan fire. Penalty markers go flying. There's some early movement from the right side of that defensive line. Defense, number 99, offside. Five yard penalty. Still, first down. Really, the, the strength of this Ryan Fire offense is up front. You know, Jim Jones, a right guard, to me, is the best player in the league. Of course, I'm an offensive lineman. Dusty Keith, Pat Crummy from the New York Giants, they really are the earth movers up front. They've got to move the real estate to give this team an opportunity. Moreau with the carry. Frank Moreau wrapped up by Fred Jones and Daniel Benetka. Pick up of about three yards. Yeah, you know, they're going up against the best trio in the in this league the interior of the defensive line of frankfurt lewis almanzer buck Gurley, and fred jones that two defensive tackles and that linebacker in the middle they're the best defense in this league they're number one in all, most of the categories and you have this is a real war going on right in that circle there today and we gave him the first down Moreau get through a hole still on his feet Nice run by Frank Moreau, a pickup of 14 yards. Chris Young finally stopped it. Now, well, Frank, he said this is what they needed to do. Yeah, this is their style of football now. Frank has started a couple of games this year. He's a guy that played for the Kansas City Chiefs, and he's a north-south runner. I mean, here he is running behind. Nice down block by Dwayne Ledford and Pat Crummy. Breaking a couple of arm tackles, and that's really what the Ryan Fires do best right there. Downhill, I'm a smash-mouth football. Ball on the 43. Moreau again. This time had to fight just to get back to the line of scrimmage before Daniel Benetka made the tackle. You know, everybody talks about how important it is to run the ball, stop the run at every level of football, and it's true. But what happens is teams get paranoid, especially defenses, when teams can run the ball. And what they do is they start walking extra guys up to the line of scrimmage just to put more bodies up there. And then that paves the way for the deep pass, the play action, getting the easy balls down the field. Ryan has three wide receivers in on second down. They hand it off again, though. And Moreau going to be stopped at the line of scrimmage for the second effort, allowing him to pick up four more. Idris Price, the Tampa Bay Buccaneer, with the stop. Yeah, and that time that the triangle won. That time Almanzer and Buck Gurley in the middle along with Freddie Jones. I mean, they did a good job of stuffing it and forcing a third and long. You know, this, there, there's Omanza right in the middle. I mean, there's no movement there. Stood up Pat Crummy at the line of scrimmage, and that made Moreau kind of dance a little bit in the backfield. This right. time, nobody in the backfield. Exactly, going with four wide receivers, needing to get it to the 47 of Frankfurt. That pass caught by Todd Elstrom. He's got running room. Elstrom finally forced out of bounds at the 22-yard line by Jeremy Unertl. But a big play for this Ryan offense on third and long. They pick up 43 yards. Kurt, this is fun football because Frankfurt blitzes here. 
because there's nobody in the backfield. So they come after him, and they beat the blitz. See, that time, Rolovich got rid of the ball to Elstrom before the blitz got there. And that's what it's all about. It's about beating the blitz when they come after you. And that's a good counterpunch that time. And when they blitz, there's nobody in the middle field. There's a lot of room to run. So a first down from the 22. Frank Moreau back in at tailback. He stopped right there at the line of scrimmage. Okay, man. Louis Almanzer and Joey Evans in on the tackle, and it seems like Frank was determined not to let Ryan run the ball. Well, you know, that guy, Louis Almanzer, in the middle is, is a man. And to me, he's, he's one of the best players in this league. He, he's got a uh, he's got a burst of sack that popped in his knee and it keeps swelling on him. He's been resting it most of the week, but, you know, his parents are from the Dominican Republic. And uh, he grew up in Jersey City, just a tough city kid that went to Nebraska to go to college. Went out to the cornfields to learn the skills. On second down, Rolovich pulls it down and is this brought down. Louis Almanzer with the tackle. The Jersey City kid who what? went to Nebraska and then wound up transferring. Well, you know, the, the commissioner of the National Football League is here today, Paul Tagliabue. And, and, and Paul grew up in Jersey City, and he finds out before the game that Louis Almanzer is from Jersey City. He goes to talk to him. It turns out that Almanzer is from the same neighborhood, went to the same school, Played on the same football field that the commissioner did. Now the commissioner's all excited about Lewis Almanzer. He knows that he plays for Seattle and that he's got a real future in the NFL. Well, he's on the sideline right now in another third and long situation. Ryan has to get it to the 12. A little flare out of the backfield for Frank Moreau, and it's incomplete. Well, that time, Frankfurt did a great job of taking away the receiver that Rolovich wanted to throw the football to. I mean, just good defense. Dropped off a defensive end, John Schleck, to cover the back. There's nowhere to go with the football. Todd France will come in to attempt the field goal from 39 yards out. France, a member of the Minnesota Vikings. And he gets the Rhine fire on the scoreboard. So the fire has moved it to within eight points here in the first quarter. Get the Capital One No Hassle card for the nation's lowest fixed rates. What's in your wallet? Lori thinks her boyfriend is cheating on her, so she's hired a gorgeous model to test his fidelity on hidden camera. You don't have a girlfriend, do you? Nicole, what's going on with me? Yeah, drink. Everything's fine with me. Busted. The new series, Anything for Love, premieres at 9, 8 central Monday on Fox. This summer, Fox is sending 11 sexy singles to live in a tropical resort. But in this paradise, you have one week to hook up or you're out. And some lucky viewer will take your place at Paradise Hotel, where you've got to be very good to get in and very bad to stay. Premieres at 9 Central Wednesday on Fox. Parental discretion advised. Later today, Fox Saturday Baseball returns with exciting interleague play. Albert Pujols and the Cardinals look to keep pace in the tight NL Central when they take on Alfonso Soriano and the New York Yankees. Fourth, the Braves and Mariners battling it out, plus the Dodgers square off against the Cleveland Indians. Fox Saturday Baseball returns today at 3 Eastern, noon Pacific, only on Fox. And we should say congratulations to Roger Clemens, who Absolutely. last night became the latest and maybe last 300-game winner in the Major League history, plus got his 4,000th strikeout in the win over the Cardinals. I always thought the Rocket would have been a heck of a football player. He, he just looks like a linebacker and a guy that uh, would enjoy going down on kickoffs and blowing people up. And he grew up in Texas. you got to play football, right? No, oh, that's the national sport. Brian McDonald takes the kickoff. Brought down right at the 24-yard line. 
Yeah, right there. That's from there. Go ahead, Baldy. Great developmental league. That's Eric Green right there in your picture. Former tight end with the Pittsburgh Steelers and, and the New York Jets. And he's, he's one of those guys that's over here right now trying to become a coach. You know, and, and the commissioner has opened up this program to former players to come out here and start to learn the skills. And they're each team had an intern this year. Barry Foster's on the other side with the Ryan Fire, but everybody remembers Hugh Green in Tampa and Reggie McElroy, a big offensive lineman that played in the league a long time. Well, Quinn Gray now in at quarterback for Frankfurt. Hands it off to Jonas Lewis. This is an expected change, as we said earlier. Brown plays the first quarter, Gray plays the second quarter, and then they decide which color they want in the second half. Well, look at that stat. You know, the first five games, no touchdowns. The last five games, 11. You know what that says? development that's what's going on with Quinn Gray went to a small school in Florida A&M has gotten an opportunity to play and really came on the last month of the season on second down to Lewis from the backfield the screenplay picks up about three more yards he's tackled right at the 29 yard line by Terrence Dukes on what looks to be the final play of the first quarter here at World Bowl 11 from Glasgow, Scotland. It's the championship game of NFL Europe. So far, the Frankfurt Galaxy own an eight-point lead, but we're only one quarter into it. Hey! It's time you expected more from an insurance company. Because at Progressive.com, you can get our price for car insurance, plus the rates of other big-name companies. And that could save you hundreds. We can help you save money, even if it's not with us. Call Progressive today or visit Progressive.com. Compare rates and buy a policy instantly. We can help you save money, even if it's not with us. You could start saving now. Call Progressive today. Not what you'd expect from an insurance company. You're watching Fox Sports. Hey, if you've got a thirst, check what's happening around Pittsburgh with the Coors Light Calendar Update. Come celebrate 40 years of great racing at the Meadows, June 26th, 27th, and 28th. While you're there, enjoy ice-cold Coors Light specials. Fanatics in Squirrel Hill has Coors Light bottles for $1.50 or a 16-ounce Coors Light draft for $1 every Thursday. And join us for the Coors Light Pennsylvania Rib, Wing, and Music Festival at the Westmoreland Fairgrounds, June 20th, 21st, and 22nd. Stay tuned for more info on the Coors Light Calendar Update. Coming up next, the Application Center announces new programs that may make you eligible for home repairs. The Application Center, the premier and only independent consumer coordination service, is now accepting applications. Updates may include roofs, windows, siding, bathrooms, kitchens, and heating, although specific needs may vary. These updating programs are designed for middle-income families. For application information, call the Application Center at 1-800-874-7814. Friends, one of the Fox 53 classic comedies, weeknights at 6 and 7. That's the 41-pound Crystal Trophy these teams are battling for. Here in World Bowl 11, each team has been here five times, and that guy's been here a whole lot more. Commissioner of the National Football League, Paul Tagliabue in attendance. Well, he loves this league, and he got off the plane from New York on Thursday, went right out to practice, talked to the Frankfurt Galaxy, and... A lot of the players were commenting how big he is. You know, he looks like a football player. Of course, played basketball in college. But uh, they were like, they liked the fact that he was one of them. Third down for the Galaxy as we start the second quarter. Quinn Gray. Mark Lester tried to one-handed but didn't do it. And so Gray and the Galaxy appealing their case. And Ryan's appealing theirs and saying, hey, stick with the call. There is no instant replay in this league, by the way. So the call will stand on the field unless the official changes it without the benefit of replay. Well, these, these two wide receivers, Mark Lester and Robert Baker, are capable of great one-handed catches. Let's just see right here. You, you know, Mark Lester might have pulled that he ball. He may in. have. You know, that was a one-handed grab. Okay. They stay with the call of an incompletion, but it was a heck of an effort yeah. by the Baltimore Raven, Mark Lester. Uh, you, you couldn't tell it from the replay whether he was able to hang on to it or not. Oh. 
This Kendall Newsom, who not only led the league in kickoff returns, but punt returns as well. Back to take this kick from Tim Morgan, who has high hang time all season long, just like this time. Newsom gets it. Nowhere to go. Just about a yard on the return and nothing else. Ryan takes over for the first time in the second quarter when we continue. It was your favorite grill. Everything just the way it should be. Beef cooking over an open fire. The finest food on this green earth. Lettuce, you bet. Tomatoes, pickles, onions, pour them on. Remember now, the original Whopper. Still your favorite, all for $1.99. The grill's going at Burger King. We'd love to put a fire-grilled Whopper on for you. Burger King, come on over. The fire's ready. is brought to you by Burger King. We'd love to put a fire-grilled original Whopper on for you. Burger King, the fire's ready. And, well, the fire uh, that burns in the souls of a lot of Scotsmen is the passion for their fellow countrymen. Well, no doubt about it. A number of great ones. You know, we got the night in one here. 007 himself, Sean Connery. Well, and there was the latest 007. Roger Moore got knighted today. Roger Moore knighted today. Nice job by you keeping uh, up with the news. I tried. Malcolm and Angus Sean, that's the music group, ACDC. Is that them playing in the background? No, nah, they never played any bagpipes <laughs> in, that, in that band. That was just ear-splitting rock and roll. But they did wear kilts and shorts. Well, as you should. You're in Scotland. Chris Bryson, the former Arizona Cardinal, now in a quarterback. As we said, he expected to come in and play the second quarter. He goes to the air right away and completes that one. Emmett Johnson making the catch. Good for an eight-yard pickup. Bryson spent three years with the Cardinals, and when you play for the Arizona Cardinals, at least previously, you didn't get to play much because Jake Plummer took every right, single snap. He had seven passes in three years in the NFL. Here we go, here we go. We're going first down here. Let's go zero, 36, first down, first down. Ready? You're going to run this right behind the right guard, Jim Jones, who's going to pull on this play. Go, hold on. Easy, easy, easy. And now he's easy. changing the play. That easy Touchdown. changes the play. 690. 690. Liz, Liz. Pump fakes. Goes up top for Newsom. Incomplete. Newsom did his best to try and draw a flag against Chris Pointer, but that one wasn't close. Yeah, you know, Chris Rising comes in in the second quarter. This is the last game in NFL Europe, and these quarterbacks that rotate, they want to make play. So go, why run go. off right guard if you can maybe go up top for a touchdown? And sometimes you get a little bit greedy. Nick Rolovich there on the sideline, rotating as they have done all season. No backfield. When that happens, look for Frankfurt to blitz. They need the 46 for the first. Quick pass. And that's caught. Emmett Johnson made the grab and got hit hard by Chris Pointer, but he still he picked up the first in the game of 10. You know, Emmett Johnson is what is the X receiver. You know, you got an X, you have a Y, and a Z. So here's Emmett out here on the outside, going to run an inside slant. They give him a lot of room, and now the key is to be able to hang on to that football. And Emmett Johnson, the guy that didn't play a lot of football, only one year of high school, he was a track athlete. Oh, Liz, Liz. Missed it so much after his junior year running track that he went out and played football, went to Virginia Tech. Play with Michael Vick there. Audrey Denson couldn't get around the corner. Denson picks up about a yard and a half on the play. When you see a running back go into the line of scrimmage, next thing you know, he's just getting pushed to the sideline. That means the guys up front, Joey Evans, Al Manzer, Buck Gurley, aren't allowing the earth movers up there to do anything. Take a look at it right here. 
See, I mean, just a good job of forcing. Chris Cummings getting into the action. Some of the secondary people forcing as well. Second and long. Three receivers in. Bryson. Thrown too high for Lavelle Boyd. Incomplete. Well, Grison has been the guy who's made big things happen for this Ryan team this year. Ten of their 13 passes, he's been the guy that's thrown it, not Rolovich, who starts. Here we go, here we go. Let's go, zero, pass, 50 to our rim, come back, a one-on-one, run it. Gonna fake, uh, gonna fake to the running back here, a little play-action pass. Here we go, rip, rip, set. We need nine yards, though, so you gotta get down the field. Gotta get it to the 37 for the first. Play fake. Under pressure. <laughs> he hits the umpire. That was his nearest receiver. Joey Evans, along with Johnny Thomas, coming right in there to make Bryson get rid of it, maybe, before he wanted to. Yeah, you know, Joey Evans is a guy that uh, had a good season over here. Played at the University of North Carolina. He's been to Cincinnati and now is with Seattle. But he comes off the corner and, for the second play in a row, delivers a good shot to Bryson, not allowing him to step up into the pocket and deliver the ball cleanly. So Jay Taylor from the Cleveland Browns will punt it away to Robert Baker. That one's gone. Taylor can only pick it up or attempt to. Ryan falls on it, but it's going to be great field position after the bad snap made by Josh McKibben, the long snapper for the Ryan fire. Uh, it was a bad snap. It was high. And that's and the Jay second time. Remember, the first one was high, but Taylor caught it. This time yeah. he couldn't. You know, and... What you have to do when that happens is you just got to go get to the ball and fall on. You know, and Frankfurt has been winning so many games and made the difference in special teams so many times this season, and this time it's just a gap by Ryan that contributes to it. And so the Galaxy take over at the 15-yard line. Jonas Lewis dancing. Abdul Howard stops the music right there at the line of scrimmage. You know, Kerr, we've, we've, we've talked a lot about national players. Scotty Cooper down on his sidelines has won himself from Scotland. The most famous national player for Frankfurt has been Werner Hippler. He's been here seemingly forever. Played for the San Diego Chargers. That time he lined up at fullback and had a good lead block. And now he lines up at tight end over on the right side. Off the play fake. Gray in trouble. Finds a way to get rid of it. Couldn't complete it out to Robert Baker, though. Incomplete. Well, Robert Baker can't get frustrated. You know, wide receivers that are talented, you can't allow them to get frustrated. They're trying to get the ball to him because he's their most explosive player. But look, you know, Frankfurt went to max protection. He couldn't protect it. A little separation against Tony Lukens. Actually, pretty good coverage job by Lukens. Gray going to work from the shotgun. They can get a first down at the five-yard line. Baker down at the bottom. Whistles blow and flags come out. Prior to the snap, ball start, number 76 on the offense. Five-yard penalty, third down. Doug Capusi in at left tackle right now for John Proust. Listen, listen. Big gun. 99 X tackle. Omar, ready? You gotta listen. Kapusi. Just telling Kapusi to listen at the tackle. He just had the penalty. Red and he falls! Red and he falls! Huh? They go with four wide receivers. Gray over the middle of the field. And it's caught for the touchdown. Mark Lester. As they say in Scotland, that was perfect <laughs> execution. It really was. It's amazing sometimes when you look at these teams that only have three weeks of training camp, never play with each other, 41. and can execute plays like that under live fire. Ralph Kleiman on for the extra point, and he puts it through. And right now in World Bowl 11, the Frankfurt Galaxy own a big lead here in the second quarter. It's 18 to 3. 
When you're looking for a home, your real estate agent is a big part of your life. You need someone you can count on. I wish you were closer to a school. Remax agents average more experience and more sales than other agents. Tell us what you want. Remax, outstanding agents, outstanding results. I think music does more to bring people together than any other one thing. As much as I travel, we're always looking for good radio stations that play good music, and XM Radio gives me everything I need. I've got a hundred different choices that I can make. Pop, country, rock and roll, news, talk, whatever. Right at this moment, uh, XM Radio is the best radio there is. XM Satellite Radio, featuring the only 24-hour NASCAR radio channel. My name is David. I play offense. I play center. I play guard. I play defense. I play linebacker. I play running back. I play fullback. My name's Casey and I play football. We've got celebrity impersonators pulling the wildest stunts, like these two legendary singers. Don't you touch me! Plus, this famous athlete gets teed off in public. This is bull Outrageous celebrity look-alike behavior at 8, 7 Central Fox Monday. Take a look at Mark Lester on this last touchdown throw from in the slot right here. He's going to run right down the seam here. Watch the, the touch that Quinn Gray throws on his ball. I mean, Tony Lukens knows he's got him all the way, threw it right over him in a perfect breadbasket position right there. I mean, just a nice pitch and catch. Well, you talked about the wide receivers for Frankfurt being game breakers during the open of this broadcast, and you see so far they've made a big difference getting a pass and a penalty earlier, and Mark Lester making a nice move to get the touchdown there. John Hilbert to kick things off. Kendall Newson at the 10. Newson falls fourth. Right about the 28-yard line. Ryan will take over from there, trying to get back in to this ball game. Mark Lester putting uh, the Frankfurt Galaxy up by 15 points. And you know, Baldy, Ryan won the Week 5 matchup, the first between the two, 14-7. Then Week 9, Frankfurt dominated them 38-7. Now they lead 18 to three. That's what 56 to 10 in the last five and a half quarters. Frank Moreau with the carry. Picks up two yards on the run. The ex Kansas City Chief. Well, the danger when you're down 18 to three early in the second quarter is just to scrap the game plan and then just start throwing the ball. But that's not what Ryan does. I mean, I think they still have to try to to run the ball. That's the strength of this team. And at least have a chance to wear down Frankfurt a little bit. Let's go, Liz! Liz! Off the play fake. Bryson completes it out to his big tight end, Chad Mustard. And Mustard makes a couple of moves, getting it out to the 45-yard line, a gain of 15. Where we talked about the national players and how they play in this league now seamlessly because their plus, skill plus. level has got go. to that, job, that level. And Let's we just zero. watched Patrick Bensky there Texas, go against South. Daniel Panetka, two one, German one. nationals that have the size and the strength to play in the National Football Let's League. Go, rip, rip. Well, Bensky has right played. here. Bensky played with the Jacksonville Jaguars one, and went to training camp with the Philadelphia Eagles. Frank Moreau bounces it out to the left side. Gets enough for the first down, giving 11 more yards on the run. Pardon me, make it a run of 13. Take a look at some of the, the national stars that we'll take a look at today. We've talked about Bensky at, at right tackle, and Bastion Lano's a defensive lineman who has an Arnold Schwarzenegger, you know, tone to him. It looks like he could be in, in some of those featured movies. Tuma from France has been excellent for Frankfurt along with Panetka. And as you said, these guys in the Let's regular go, rotation, not just Let's getting spot duty. Moreau again. 
stays on his feet, gets out near that first down market. Calvin Spears with the tackle. Yeah, take a look at Penske here. I mean, they run right behind him, right at right tackle. He gets a double team on Josh Schlecht right there. You know, along with Chad Muster, the tight end. That's pretty good, pretty good push right at the point. And, and you kind of get the feeling. I mean, this is what Ryan's doing. You, in the huddle, guys are pumped up right now. This is actually a run pass check. They could run an 18 to the right side or actually check a pass. They hand it off Moreau. Fighting gets the first down. Well, despite being down by 15, they don't seem to have abandoned the run. Well, they, they shouldn't. I mean, that's what the mistake a lot of teams make in the NFL, you know, in this league. And uh, right now, that offensive line is, is, for the first time, feel like they're clicking a little bit. And they can move these guys, and they're getting some confidence. Pika Harchik, who's in his fifth World Bowl. Doug Graber trying to get his first ring in this league. Three years Still of coaching here. Why, 50? Why, 50? Bryson, with time, completes it out to Mustard, and Chad Mustard, tough to bring down, picks up 11 yards and a first down. Well, you talked about that right tackle, Patrick Bensky, grew up in Germany, went to college in America, but really always wanted to play American football when he was growing up. With football becoming more and more global, um, nowadays kids have a higher chance of making it to the NFL because you now they grew up and they have um, they have heroes in the NFL Europe. They see they see uh, Patrick Vance, they see the Werner Hippler of this world. Uh, they see great nationals who actually have a chance of making an NFL team. So therefore, it is a career path. Now, when I started seven or even ten years ago, there was nobody I could uh, look, I could look up to. There was nobody who could offer me any kind of advice. But now, with a great job by the NFL and the NFL Europe. Football become a more global sport. Now you can compete for Team Europe, and all of a sudden you fly to the States, and you compete against American kids, and uh, you can show that you are, on a global level, one of the best players in the world. Uh, there you see Vinsky doing a good job of blocking as they complete that pass to Kendall Newsom down inside the 10-yard line, but he talks about this being a global game now. Well, you know, and you, but you got to have the skills to play globally. I mean, yeah. That's just a good job. Good punch. Now he's trying to get downfield here, looking for somebody to pick off. That's good. That's good. It's good, solid play right there. Good hands. First and goal inside the 10-yard line. Bryson rolling. Directing traffic and just throws that one out of the back of the end zone. Incomplete. So for a second, he looked like Danny White in the playoffs there. Directing <laughs> traffic in the back of the end zone. Maybe Joe Montana. We're going back in time there a little bit. Well, right? that's because I grew up a Falcon fan. I'll never forget that Cowboy Falcon playoff. Was that 1980? Yes. 1980 yeah, come yeah, back. Over, that was the perfect year. 12 and 4. Everybody in Atlanta thought they were going to the Super Bowl. <sighs> no matter where you are, it all comes back. Well, that's that's the beauty of football. You talk about it on any level, at any time, and it, it just stays with you. You don't even know how you remember it. Audrey Denson with a hole. Down to the three yard line. Calvin Pearson on the tackle. Yeah, run right behind Jim Jones that time and Justin Keith up front. Nice job right here, right in the middle here of opening this up. See, they, they beat the triangle. Keith got a good job on Freddie Jones, the middle linebacker there, and that, those holes, they open up, but not for very long. They close tight. That's why you got to hit it so fast. Set! By 30! Why 30, hot! From the three. All kinds of time for Bryson. Can't find a receiver. And it's brought down for the sack by Joey Evans. Another great play by Evans, but Bryson had all kinds of time. As much time as you could ever want. This is going to take a long time here. I mean, he's got 10 seconds back here. It's a great job by that offensive line but even a better job by the secondary of Frankfurt. 55, my lead. Ingo and De Brugge on for the field goal attempt from 29 yards out. And that's good. And so Ryan puts together a 10-play drive to get another field goal and pull it just a bit closer, 18-6. The Orlando Jones Show. It's like crack. You'll be back. <laughs>
premieres next week only on FX. Check local listings. We bought a hot dog at a discount store. Sure, the pub might be a little noisy, but the dealers are in the state-of-the-art radio. Why settle for a hot tub when you could have a thermo spa that includes a built-in sound system and CD player? along with two layers of special insulation and soundproofing to keep your hot tub cost-efficient and whisper quiet. Call for our free information package. It includes a 25-minute video, a 48-page color catalog, and information on how you can buy direct from Thermo Spas for as little as $49 a month. Call. There's no obligation. Simply a chance to learn about the world's finest hot tub. Some models include over 160 jets that provide the most incredible full-body massage. If you already bought that discounted hot tub, what? don't worry. Thermo Spas accepts trade-ins on every make and model. Call now for your free video package and we'll include a $400 gift coupon. Call 1-800-949-0202. When the target's refreshment, a hard mic's is good to find. Frasier, one of the Fox 53 classic comedies, weeknights at 6 30. Dante Hall went from the Scottish Claymores to the Pro Bowl for the Kansas City Chiefs, but that's not unusual. Kansas City Chiefs get several starters who are former NFL Europe League players, and joining us right now is the president and general manager of the Chiefs, Carl Peterson. We see you every year over here at the World Bowl. It's good to see you here, but obviously you've figured out a way to make this league work for you, getting guys who are not just contributing on your team, but starters as well as we see. Well, we think it has a great ability to do that, to develop players that need to be developed. And as you indicated on the graphic, we've got a number of guys that wouldn't be playing for us or in the National Football League if they didn't start here in the NFL EL. So we're great proponents of this uh, fine, fine league. Hey, Carl, one of the things you've done is you've taken players who change positions, guys that had to make a complete position switch and use this time over here for guys to get acclimated and make that switch in positions like Brian Water from, from defense to offensive guard. Yeah, absolutely. You know, it, that's what makes this league special. And I would, you know, take my hat off to the coaches here and the coaches that have come through this league. They're making players better. And, and you know, Brian, that's what it takes. If you've got a willing uh, player, but you've got a talented coach, good things are going to happen. We're, uh, like I said, we're always going to support the NFL EL, and we want, uh, we think we can do bigger and better things for the entire National Football League here. Now, Carl, we, we like the leather jacket, but where's the kilt? <laughs> you didn't well, get the memo, sir. <laughs> I, I didn't, but I just want to know this. Uh, do you guys know what a true Scotsman wears under his kilt? Oh, oh we've heard about that. Yeah, Trust well. me. Jonas Lewis Thank making a couple of big moves into the open field. Being chased down by Abdul Howard, but a huge run for the Frankfurt running back. 53 yards on that play. Carl, that, that looks like one of your guys, maybe a Priest Holmes type move right there. Very much so. Yeah, more patience, of waiting for that blocking, and then uh, sees the crease and takes it. Yeah, and, you know, and now he turns it on. Now, yep. now it's all yep. running back. Now it's all vision right there, Carl. Yep. Getting to the outside, and now the race is on. This is good quality football uh, with good quality coaching. Plus, all of these officials yep. are in the NFL. We know that, and the players know that. Uh, 110 out of the 119 officials in the NFL have worked in NFL Europe. It's a great stat and an important one for uh, our league. Robert Gillespie, the Washington Redskins, comes out of the backfield. Carl, you mentioned just the quality of play and the level of execution. One of the things I'm always amazed about, and I know you come over every year, is these guys only go to camp for three weeks. They've never played with one another before. They've got to digest a new playbook, and here they are in week 11, and it's good quality of play. It is, and I, I, I've seen it improve every single year. I think uh, all of our coaches, including Dick Ramiel and our assistants, concur. Uh, you know, going back a number of years, and that, that's why 
We need this league. It is the only place we have a chance to develop young players. Oh, fine Robert, run there. Robert. Robert Gillespie is certainly yeah. developing big time. Yep. That's a 28-yard touchdown run by the Redskin running back. Yeah, and let's give some credit up front to that offensive line of Joe Jackson and Michael Moore. Doug Kafusi, who's filling in at left tackle, because that's where they're running the football. They are doing that. You know, Brian, the other thing is that we need to, and we're going to work hard to start taking some of these national players back to the NFL, have them go through training camp, hopefully maybe uh, be a developmental player during the regular season, and watch them improve their performances also. Well, we talked to the commissioner, and we thought maybe just bring them to the combine and let them get worked out. And, and you know, once these national players are invited to the United States, the, the whole mentality of what this process is, it grows. And... You know, the commissioner always talks about guys like Boris Becker in Germany. When he won Wimbledon at age 17, suddenly everybody in Germany wanted to be a tennis star. Exactly. Well, we've got a, a, a national player, although he's 42 years old, by the name of Morton Anderson. He's <laughs> <laughs> still as fine an athlete as I've ever seen, though. But seriously, uh, we need to also get the other athletes at the offensive, defensive line positions, wide receivers, linebackers, because their talent, and the talent is here in Europe. You know, the NBA does it. Uh, the other leagues do it. do it. We, we need to do that and, and do it well, and I think we can. And that's just an emphasis on the national players. Well, you know, you not only come over for this league each year, and you've talked about you have family members from over here as well, so you come over to Europe quite a bit. Are you seeing the sport grow outside of NFL Europe? Just kids on the playgrounds, on the streets, those kind of things? Absolutely. You know, this country here, Scotland, started very very small about six years ago but they've got youth football going very strong here which they never had before um, I think you know it's like anything it takes some time to put the roots down but there's too many talented athletes in this continent that we have got to find and cultivate and develop flag down on the kickoff as Audrey Denton picks it up oh, Real quick, I mean, just like Arrowhead, the fans here in Europe, they travel and, and they are excited and have become knowledgeable as well. Yes, they are. You know, and, and I marvel at, at obviously the German teams. We've been to Dusseldorf, we've been to Frankfurt, and 50, 60,000 fans. The number that, that traveled here for this uh, great World Bowl is, is exceedingly impressive. I think, like I said, it's like anything else that has quality to it. Athletic-wise, sport-wise, you give it enough time and do it the right way, and it is going to catch on. But again, you know, I went to the NBA All-Star Game this year. There were 24 players between the two teams. 11 of them were from other nations other than the United States. You know, they've done a great job of taking their sport nation or nationally, internationally, and we can do the same thing, and uh, we're looking forward to doing that. Let me ask you, how long do you think before we see a quote-unquote national player from a foreign country come in and make a huge impact as a star player of the National Football League? Because we've seen several come in and get starting roles. You know, we talked about Patrick Kersky sure. started for Jacksonville, those kinds of things. If you base it just on athleticism, you could do it in five years. I mean, uh, there are those types of athletes over here, and, uh, you know, hey, they can they can do things athletic as well as, as as American athletes can. It's just the exposure to it. You know, I'd like to get some time over to Russia and find some of those guys. <laughs> I've seen them in, in the Olympics You've seen and them in wrestling, the weightlifting, combat, the weightlifting, yeah. and that. And uh, Boxing these could and be some very very interesting linemen, offensive. Never quite as good as you, Brian, nor your brother Rich. I know, but you know, we got to just throw that. Well, thanks for throwing that in there, Carl. <laughs> and thanks for joining us here, Carl, because uh, we want to see the future of this league continue to expand and continue to grow continue to turn out quality players. Thank you. It's been my pleasure. And I promise I won't tell your brother that I saw you in a skirt. <laughs> Make sure you get the memo next time, Carl. It's a kilt. Remember, it's a kilt. That's what they like to call it. Thanks a lot, Carl Peterson, president and general manager of the Kansas City Chiefs. Two-minute warning here in Glasgow. World Bowl 11, all Frankfurt so far. And you, Wyatt, how'd you make your first billion? Oil and cattle. Let's call it offshore banking. Ah, and you, Jones, we're all curious. How'd you make your first billion? Me? Oh, Pepsi. You invented Pepsi. Oh, no, I, I just drank one. <laughs> Want your first billion? Enter Pepsi's Play for a Billion sweepstakes. 1,000 winners compete for a guaranteed million on live TV. And one may even win one billion. You guys got a foosball table? Check specially marked Pepsi products.
some people will do anything for love. Like Richard, he suspects his girlfriend's a cheat. Her painter goes off constantly. So he set up a fake photo shoot with a hot photographer, all on hidden camera. I would love to have dinner with you. Sounds great. Excuse me. Busted. Anything for love. Premieres Monday at 9, 8 central on Fox. Fox Tuesday. You've seen them strut their stuff. How dare you give me so much pleasure? And heard what the parents have to say. I think it's unfair she didn't make it. Now, meet the celebrity judges and cast your own vote when the first ten finalists perform live on stage and put their fate in your hands. You decide, you vote. American Juniors at 8, 7 central, Fox Tuesday. We're nearing the end of the first half here in Glasgow. Frankfurt on top in World Bowl 11, 25-6 over the Rhine Fire. Back down to the field we go, and Mr. Scoops himself, Scott Cooper of the Scottish Claymores. Okay, you can uh, help find the MVP of this World Bowl 11. Simply log on to www.worldbowl.com. Cast your vote. That's www.worldbowl.com, the official website of World Bowl 11. Now, you guys were wondering what a, a Scotsman wears under his kilt. But I'll tell you what, a Claymore wears under his kilt. Hey, hey, hey. I had to get some Claymore's <laughs> representation here today. Uh -oh. Back here. Thanks for clearing it up, Scoop. <laughs> because that's the only question people want to ask me. Everywhere you go. I'm, I'm going to let them have some intrigue, though. I'm not giving it up so quickly. Ryan trying to do something before halftime here. Starting at the 43-yard line through the hands of Kendall Newson incomplete. Well, right now, you know, Frankfurt's having their way with the Ryan defense, but Ryan can move the football. They, they set up for two field goals, but they haven't gotten anything deep. No big plays, nothing down the field. And that's what they need right here before half. They need to go into halftime with some confidence, knowing that they can move the football and they can score. So rip, rip, set. They've got four wide receivers in on second down. Bryson under pressure. Ball knocked down. Buck Gurley. The Tampa Bay Buccaneer looked like he was the one that got up there and got a hand on it. Well, coming up half time, uh, at halftime here in Glasgow, we've got a special performance by one of the hottest acts in all of Great Britain. No, not Baldy and the Waves. The Sugar Babes. They're coming your way. Plus, Baldy will have an interview with the commissioner of the National Football League, Paul Tagliabue. And of course, we'll break down the stats and have analysis from this first half. On third and long, Bryson being pressured again and floats that one out to Autry Denson. And Denson got enough for the first down. Pick up of 11 yards on the play, and he got out of bounds. Well, Grison saved that play, and then Autry Denson helped it along to move the chains here. But right now, the offensive line in pass protection is getting beat. Get beat off the edges right now by Joey Evans and Louis Almazar. Ryan working with all three of their timeouts. Ball now at the 45-yard line of Frankfurt. Frankfurt just rushing three guys, dropping eight in the coverage here. And Autry Denson tries to run it, can't do it. Tackled the right at the line of scrimmage by Buck Curley. Yeah, that's Buck Curley in the middle. That's a perfect name for him. Well, his real name's Shedrick, but I mean, look, can you call him Shedrick? No, no, call him Buck, because that's, that's what he looks like. He looks like a Buck. You know, and then he plays like one, too. He plays big. He's got a big, wide body. And uh, he's a guy that doesn't get the same they recognition here on the last two as Almanzar or Evans, but he does a good job in the middle as well. Ryan using its first timeout to stop the clock with 1.34 left to play. And, you know, Gurley was a guy who actually played last year with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, especially after Booger McFarlane went down, got in that rotation at defensive tackle for the Bucs. A lot of guys, you know, there were 13 players on that w world champion Super Bowl winning Tampa Bay team that were members of teams in NFL Europe. Well, that Graduated defensive tackle team. rotation, with the exception of Sapp, basically was for a while. Gurley, yeah, Devon Claybrooks, Stop. and Chatrick Darby. Why, Sony? Nothing. Why, Sony? Hot. Empty backfield, Grison to the air. That one's caught by Lavelle Boyd, and Boyd going to pick up seven yards on the catch. Calvin Spears finally stopped him. Hurry up. Going to try to get a playoff here. That one is caught by Emmett Johnson. 
Nice grab for the first down, down to the 29-yard line. The clock keeps moving. Time out, time out. And you hear Chris Bryson call the second timeout for the fire. Ryan Fire. Well, Kurt, here's been the difference in the game. It's really been the pressure of the defensive line of Frankfurt that we keyed at the beginning. This is what it's looked like so far. Quarterbacks on the ground is no way to play that position. Go 60 smash, X rub. All right. If they don't come, you just stay to your smash side. All right. All your check down, Chris. That's the offensive coordinator, Mike Jones, talking to the quarterback, Chris Bryson. Well, he's going to have four wide receivers. Two wide receivers to one side are going to run kind of a high low in the corner and out and in. And then they're going to have an X rub coming off of almost like a pick to free up Emmett Johnson. Let's go rip, rip, set. Boy, 50. Boy, 50. Here comes the blitz. Well picked up. He's got him. Nice breakup by Jeremy Unerto. That pass intended for Charlie Adams, but Unerto, the Green Bay Packer, was right there along with Chris Cummings to knock it down. Well, everything about this play was great. I mean, great protection, good pickups on the blitzes, and then the, the, the secondary play. Talk about Unerto right here. And Chris Cummings. Nice job. Good call, Kurt. Actually, that ball might have hit Charlie Adams in the hands here. Well, Chris oh, nice. Cummings was yeah. the one that batted away, actually. Yeah, really good coverage there, taking away Adams. On second down, they hand it off. Autry Denson. Here we go. Picks up four yards on the run. Got plenty of time here. It's one of the reasons why Grison plays the second quarter and likes it. He likes here getting in this two-minute drill. Here we go. Let's go, rip, rip. Hot. They need the 18 for the first. Denson gets it and gets out of bounds, saving the timeout. 24 seconds left to go here in the first half. And it's a good drive, a really good drive. He's done a nice job using his timeouts, getting the ball out of bounds. Now, inside the 15-yard line, he's got three good shots to the end zone. Let's go, let's go, zero. 60 tackles, eight wheel. Here we go, here we go. Let's go, zero. 60 tackles, eight wheel on one-on-one, running. Yeah, the wheel route is, is going to be here. I mean, Let's go rim, rim. Denson's going to wheel out of the backfield. That's the, that's the third oh, choice. Grison going towards the Got end him. zone, diving, but can't pull it in as Kendall Newson. That was a good chance. That was a good shot. It was a good play. Nice throw. Newson just couldn't bring it into his body. I mean, everything about it was good. Everything but the catch. But that's where you have to go here. You got to go to the end zone. Don't want to throw it down to the five yard line and have this clock run out on. Five wide receivers for the fire. Bryson dumps it off to Todd Elstrom and Elstrom picks up six yards on the play and they have to use that final timeout. Timeout. Ryan Fire, third team and final timeout. It will be a 30-second timeout. Good chance here to listen to Chris Grice and Mike Jones talk about a key third down play. They need to get a touchdown hey, hey, coach. to keep this game alive. Hey, Coach. Do you right here now. Right here now. We're on the what? 10. Second you don't land and you haven't did anything with it. One of them I'm thinking is Joker. At least you're going to... You're right. You're right. Where's the first hey, 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 hey. Then let's do this. Hey, give me flush. Flush in there. Flush in there. Hey, let's go. Damn it, that'll be the 50 slip screen right. Zero. No, 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 no. No, no, no. No, it's not Give it to me. We're not going. Hey, hey, Chris. The, uh, the guy that's playing the chess match with Mike Jones is the defense coordinator, Bob Valicente, who was the defensive back coach in Green Bay when they won the Super Bowl in New Orleans about six years ago against New England. Very talented and skilled coordinator. Here we go on third down. Bryson. 
towards the end zone, throws it away incomplete. So with five seconds left here and a fourth down, they'll send out the field goal kicking unit to get some points before halftime. And, you know, once again, Chris Bryson back there in the pocket got hit as he threw, as he threw this football. As it seems like he has just about every time he's dropped back today. And that's no blitz. That's just the front four applying pressure. That time, Buck Gurley got that hit right into the rib. Ingo Anderberger on for a 37-yard attempt. And he hooked it in. So Ingo Anderberger has been the guy to get the points today for the Ryan Fire. As we get to halftime, 25-9, the Frankfurt Galaxy on top here in Glasgow, Scotland at World Bowl 11. Brian Baldinger is heading away from the booth right now as he gets prepared to interview the commissioner. Because what men want, well, that's complicated. But what they need, now that we know something about. Happy Father's Day from the Men's Warehouse. You're going to like the way you look. I guarantee it. The best thing about nail polish? Putting it on. The worst thing? Taking it off. Until now, introducing Q-Tex Essential Care Liquid with the Flow Control Cap. It nourishes, conditions, even smells good. Q-Tex, a better way to take it off. For cuts or scratches, I don't use ordinary bandages. I use new skin because new skin is as flexible as I am. It seals with a waterproof shield that kills germs. Wounds heal because they're protected better. It's more than a bandage, it's new skin. Will the real Martin please stand up? Shut your big bazoo and stop thinking so much. <laughs> on Frazier, Monday at 6.30 on Fox 53. Back here at halftime, Hampden Park in Glasgow, Scotland. I just spent time in both locker rooms for the Ryan Fire. The first thing Pete Kaharchik said was, you got to believe. And the players echoed it. Because if without the belief, they're not going to make this thing happen in the second half. For Frankfurt, they're upset. They think that they should have scored more points. And they're putting the emphasis in the second half on the offense to keep scoring. And that way, they can solidify their third World Bowl championship. Back up to you, Kirk. Join you in a second. All right, hurry on up here. The winner of this game will be the first team in NFL Europe League history to win three World Bowls. And you look at the halftime stats, you can see the rush yards heavily in favor of Frankfurt. Ryan doing a good job passing the ball, but that's because they've been behind from the start of this game. And in a game that they felt they probably couldn't make a lot of mistakes, they made two big ones in the first half. A 29-yard pass interference penalty led to a touchdown, and then a bad snap on a punt led to another. That's why they trail 25-9 as we start the third quarter. Archery Denson from his end zone. Denson forced out of bounds. 18-yard line. And taking a look at some of the highlights from the first half. And as we said, after a 29-yard pass interference penalty, Jonas Lewis took it in from a yard out to make it 11-0. And then Quinn Gray took advantage of that bad punt snap, finding Mark Lester for an 18-3 lead. And then Robert Gillespie of the Washington Redskins put him up big. Right now, it's 25-9 with Nick Rolovich, the Denver Bronco quarterback, back in the game for Ryan to try and get them going with a touchdown. They had three field goals in the first half. Right back to the air, Rolovich. Going up top for Charlie Adams. He's all spun around incomplete. Well, Kurt, I've made it up here for the second half. And not half. even breathing heavily. Busy. Well, I'm in shape. Yeah, you know, I've been doing two days here. But really, I mean, when you look at these quarterbacks right here, this is the only stat right here. You know, no touchdown passes here. And they've had opportunities inside that red zone, you know, in that compressed area of the field to score touchdowns. And that's what's missing from this offense right now. Three field goals, no touchdowns. So... They can drive the field, but they got to get six and not settle for three. On second down. The handoff to Autry Denson. Denson scoots through a little hole, picks up about seven yards, and Denson will be a key component of this game from now on. We get the report that Frank Moreau, the other running back, has an injured ankle, won't play the rest of the day, so Autry Denson will be the guy who carries the load for Ryan. Well, it, it's a... Uh... 
bad thing for Frank. I saw him in the locker room, and he was hobbling just to get to the locker room at halftime. But Archer Denson, this is what he's dreamed about, to be the main ball carrier, to carry the mail, and put it on his shoulders. He, he wants to do that in a big game. Third and short. First down, Ryan. Todd Elovich with the catch, or Todd Elstrom, pardon me, making the catch of the Nick Rolovich pass. But I sat down, or because I'm an offensive line, I sat down with the offensive line. Where weren't you at halftime? Uh, the, well, I was everywhere. I mean, I mean the commissioner was, <laughs> was talking about NFL Europe and national players. He was excited. And I sat with the offensive line. This man, Dustin Keith, right here, I mean, he looked fine. He was like, we can do everything we want to do. We, we just have to score touchdowns. And that was the emphasis. Audrey Denson with the carry. Fights his way out for a pickup of four yards right to the 40-yard line. And let me ask you this. If you're Ryan, there you see Frank Moreau standing on the sideline. You're down to one running back. Your plan was to run the ball, run the run ball, run the ball. With one back and being down this much, do you stick with that plan? Yeah, you have to because that's what, what they haven't gotten today is a big play off of play action. And that can happen when you continue to run it. Even if you're down 16 points, that can happen. Matt Stanley. About time we now in it, uh, it, uh, running back, and they get it out to the tight end, Dwayne Blakely. And Blakely takes it into Frankfurt territory. A big 23-yard gain on the pass play. Now, that, that's an excellent call because we haven't seen a bootleg from Ryan all day. And it, that used to be a staple of this offense. And Rolovich ran it perfectly. And Blakely, who's right here, is going to bounce in and then come out. Suck everybody inside, and that's just, that's real easy. That's easy football and a big game as a result. And once again, Ryan moving the football. They've gotten it down to the 37-yard line. First down. Movement by that Frankfurt defense. Ball's out. It's been booted around. It's still a live football as it finally goes out of bounds. And we'll see the penalty marker look like it was against Frankfurt. It, it looked like Johnny Thomas was going to take the soccer ball <laughs> up the sidelines. You know? Here's the call from Peter Morelli, our referee. Offside, number 98 on the defense. Five-yard penalty. Still first down. Buck Gurley, the guilty party. <laughs> well, it gives him a free five yards. And, you know, with defensive tackles, that's, that's the last thing you want to do is jump and give a team right now any kind of momentum at all. Yeah, because you know Ryan was looking for some coming out to start the second half down by 16 points and as of now on this drive they're getting a little the big 23 yard run and then a five yard penalty so now it's first and five denson again archery denson with a pickup of a yard on the play fred jones in there with a the tackle now, I just watched the defense of Frankfurt in the last play, and they walked the safety up to stop the run. And all of a sudden, you go from two safeties to one safety. Well, the safety's job is to stop the big play. Now, watch them. They walk this safety up. There's only one guy back here. See, that's when you get a big play. There's just one safety there, and if you go down the seams, you've got all kinds of area back there you can throw the football. Throw it over the middle of the field is what you're saying. On second and short, Brolovich. Throws to the left side of the field. Pass complete. Out to Kendall Newsom. He's stopped by Jeremy Winertle short of the first down. Right, you see Rolovich is comfortable in the short passing game. Getting the ball out quick because that's what he did with June Jones at the University of Hawaii. I mean, his final three games with Hawaii, he threw for over 500 yards. And most of it was just like that. 40, 50, 60 passes a game. Short passes, rhythm passes. And the ball comes out quick to him. He looks pretty good. Actually, they got the first down. Ball right at the 26-yard line. Rolovich. Completes that one out to Newsom, who breaks a couple of tackles and gets it down to the 7-yard line. Chris Cummings finally stopped him. But another big play on this drive for Ryan as they get it to first and goal after the pickup of 19. Whoa. Right that time, Rolovich looked like Admiral Nelson in Princess Square in Scotland standing there because of the job up front. That interior three of Crummy, Keith, and Jones right there waddled everything up, boxed it all up, and Rolovich had great vision down the field. First and goal for the fire. Audrey Denson. There we go. Dancing around, picked up a couple of yards on the play. Critical, critical play calling 
right now. And you see Kendall Newsom trying to catch his breath. He's the one who made that big catch. And, you know, sometimes you get popped and yeah. it makes it hard to breathe. Hopefully nothing serious for him. That's the wind. Yeah. You get the wind knocked out of you. And you have to bend over to find wind. You can't get wind by standing up. you got to go down and bend over. Then that's, that's how it gets into your body. I guess only hot air rises, not all air, right? <laughs> <laughs> Rolovich all kinds of time. Finds Lavelle Boyd. Ooh. Did he get in? Tell you. No, out at the one-yard line. You know, Jeremy Unertle is a guy that was a safety. You know, a big safety. He's 6'1", 210 pounds, and he's being converted to cornerback. Green Bay likes big corners, and he saves a touchdown here. I mean, Lavelle Boyd comes across the formation. Now, that time, Unertle put that big body on him and kept him out of the end zone. Third and goal from the one. Autry Denson hit in the backfield by Johnny Thomas. Falls forward, but he didn't get into the end zone. Everybody on Ryan has their hands up like it's a touchdown. <laughs> Except the referees don't see it. <laughs> you got to go for it. Yeah, you can't settle for another field goal here. I Man, we talked about the strength of this team is the interior three. Nice job by Johnny Thomas coming down the line of scrimmage, but you got to run right behind Keith and Jones and Crummy. That's the strength here. Pete Kaharchik's team has a fourth and goal. About a foot to go for the touchdown. Bubble snap. Ball is out and on the ground. Doesn't matter. It didn't get into the end zone, so you heard the official. It doesn't matter. It will be Frankfurt's ball. Frankfurt recovered it anyway. Daniel Bonetka takes it over. Ryan fails again. Hey! It's time you expected more from an insurance company. Because at Progressive.com, you can get our price for car insurance, plus the rates of other big-name companies. And that could save you hundreds. We can help you save money, even if it's not with us. Call Progressive today or visit Progressive.com. Compare rates and buy a policy instantly. We can help you save money, even if it's not with us. You could start saving now. Call Progressive today. Not what you'd expect from an insurance company. Coco the hooker busting clown. So, uh, how about a little clown action? And he's not fooling around. <laughs> Cops. Come on. Then, police say this dance instructor is really a sexual predator who killed one of his students. Help us find him. America's Most Wanted. It all starts at 8, 7 Central tonight on Fox. Next week, Mucky's having his cake. <gasps> Who's your daddy? Oh, Derek's eating it, too. You dirty, dirty boy. Lucky. An all-new episode next week, only on FX. World Bowl 11 on Fox is brought to you by Progressive Auto Insurance. Here in Glasgow, Scotland, World Bowl 11, Frankfurt holding on to a 25-9 lead. Ryan with a chance to cut into it on the first possession here in the third quarter, but another costly mistake. Well, it happened in the quarterback center exchange, and you see it a lot on short yards of goal line. Dustin Keith, the center, steps hard to his right. When they do that, Sometimes they don't get the ball all the way up to the quarterback's hands. And that's what happened on that play. You're, you're trying so hard to step to your right to help your guard that you forget about the basis of getting the ball up. That's unfortunate, but here the defense has got to make a stop and a stand at this end of the field. Frankfurt taking the ball inside the one-yard line. James Brown, the quarterback, completes that out to Mark Lester, and they pick up six yards on the play. Well, it's a bold play by Frankfurt to come out and throw the football. It shows confidence in James Brown, the quarterback. Shows constant confidence in the offensive line to pick up blitzes and to give themselves a little bit of a breathing room here. And I was in that locker room at halftime, and all Frankfurt talked about as an offense is we have to keep scoring because if we do, we're going to bring home the World Bowl trophy. All kinds of shifting around on second down. That's Jonas Lewis. 
Makes a couple of moves and gets the first down for Frankfurt. Well, don't forget that later on today on Fox, Major League Baseball returns and a couple of good matchups. The Cardinals going into Yankee Stadium to face the New York Yankees on the day after Roger Clemens won his 300th. And the Braves and Mariners, the two best records in baseball getting together. Interleague play continues as baseball comes back to Fox at 3 o'clock Eastern time today. On first down, Robert Gillespie, stutter steps. Greg Brown finally stopped him, but a nice job by Gillespie of being patient there and waiting for the opening and picking up 16. Hey, one of my favorite players in this league is the fullback, Corey McIntyre. He's only carried the ball one time the whole year. But the guy is selfless. I mean, it's all about team form. And here he is. He gets the lead block right there. That kickout block, boom, right there. And Abdul Howard opened up the hole. And that's the way he is. He's playing with a bad foot. You know, he can barely walk with a bad arch right now and bone spurs. And he just delivered another punishing block. And Gillespie followed him out into the open field. In the line territory, forced out by Abdul Howard. But only after he picked up 30 yards. Right, here he is. I mean, running right behind the fullback. I mean, follow 44 in your picture here. Watch this block right in the hole. Boom. Now, Corey McIntyre never played fullback before. At West Virginia, he was the defensive end and linebacker. He's converting to that position. He's with the Philadelphia Eagles and will compete with John Ritchie there, you know, this summer for a job. First out. Brown. Mark Lester. Stepped out of bounds. They'll mark it right at the 22-yard line, but another big play for Frankfurt, 16 more yards. So there we are. We're, we're having a nice conversation with Corey McIntyre two days ago, and the first thing we said is, one carry the whole year. I mean, is there any plays in the playbook for you? And he said, no. There's no runs for me in the playbook. They just gave me one run, and they said, you know, they, they ran it like off right tackle. They tried to run him outside. Yeah, they tried to run a fullback outside. You only run fullbacks right up the middle. That's the only place they should go. <laughs> Ryan offside on this play, so it'll be a free play for Frankfurt to get it out to Robert Baker and Charles Burton got an early start there. We talked about the Ryan offense trying to make something happen right here. Their defense trying to make something happen. Defense, number 51 offside. The penalty is declined. Second down. Well, Kurt, you know, you always want to play your best football at the end of the season in a championship game. And right now, Frankfurt's offense hasn't looked this good the whole year. I mean, it's the best it's looked all year. Adam Tate now in at tailback. Here comes the blitz again. And timeout. Ryan, fired. Ryan called a timeout before they made a blitz. They didn't tell everybody about it. But they do use their first timeout here in the second half to try and slow down this Frankfurt freight train. Jeff Gould guns for NASCAR's top spot as he chases post leader Matt Kenneth. Winston Cup Racing tomorrow on Fox. This summer, smart kid like you, you've got to have a plan. Journey to a whole new world. You brought him home? He's not a criminal mastermind. He's a kid who has nowhere to go. What do you think of Newport? I think I can get in less trouble where I'm from. You have no idea. The OC, coming soon to Fox. You're watching Fox Sports. Hey, I was just thinking. Have you ever seen a really overweight squirrel? Oh, I don't think so. Yeah, me neither. You think you'd see one every once in a while. Nuts are so fatty. Yeah, but they do a lot of cardio. Hmm. When you drive a car you never have to think about, what will you think about? The Civic from Honda. Hey, if you've got a thirst, check what's happening around Pittsburgh with the Coors Light calendar update. Come celebrate 40 years of great racing at the Meadows, June 26th, 27th, and 28th. While you're there, enjoy ice-cold Coors Light specials. 
Fanatics in Squirrel Hill has Coors Light bottles for $1.50 or a 16-ounce Coors Light draft for $1 every Thursday. And join us for the Coors Light Pennsylvania Rib, Wing, and Music Festival at the Westmoreland Fairgrounds, June 20th, 21st, and 22nd. Stay tuned for more info on the Coors Light calendar update. Albie Oxenrider on Pittsburgh's most-watched 10 o'clock newscast on Fox 53. Well, don't forget that Fox Saturday Baseball returns with exciting interleague play. Albert Kuhlholz and the Cardinals try to keep pace in the NL Central when they take on Alfonso Soriano and the New York Yankees. Or it's the Braves and the Mariners, plus the Dodgers and the Indians. Fox Saturday Baseball returns today at 3 p.m. Eastern, noon Pacific, only on Fox. Well, here we are in Glasgow, Scotland, World Bowl 11. Right now, Frankfurt trying to run away with it, but we got a guy who joined us in the booth who knows a little bit about... Uh, I don't know, have you ever had one of those quarterback uh, offensive lineman exchange problems like uh, Ryan well, had down there? This is Gene Upshaw, the uh, head of the NFL Players Association. Well, believe it or not, I have had those exchanges. I played sin in college, and I got to the pros and played guard, but it's a simple exchange, but it's the most important thing that happens uh, at the beginning of a play. The one thing you don't want to do is leave the ball on the ground or close to the goal line. Kid, you never thought that you'd be at a football game standing between two guys that have a kilt on. I, you know, I, it's, I know it's disappointing for you. Adam Tate with a big run. It, it was, you know, it's very disappointing, but uh, I'm proud of you guys. I mean, I was going to wear my kilts, too, but I yeah. couldn't find the socks to go with them. Oh, yeah. And you had the little hats to go in the whole nine yards. Yeah. But I want to tell you, before you get back home, you guys better get rid of those things. Yeah, yeah, no, no. They get dead and buried and burned tonight, Gene. No, no, no more of this. But, Gene, one of the reasons why you're here, we, we talked to the commissioner at halftime, is you are a big advocator and a believer in this league, developing young players, getting them over here, getting them some reps, and letting them go back to the States to compete. Well, I think it's so important for the young guys to get over and have an opportunity to play. This is the only chance you're going to get uh, to get the experience and to, to do what you need to do to be a better player. That was Adam Tate once again with a run on first down. They've got a second down at the five-yard line. And you've seen this league for years, Gene. Has it developed the way you thought? I mean, not only opportunities for the players who hadn't made it in the NFL, but guys that had and also guys who had really hadn't had a lot of professional football experience before nationally and internationally. Well, it's so important because there are so many elements of this game that uh, we don't spend enough time with. That's you got coaches that we need to, to train. we got players that need to be trained. We start a new intern program this year that we want to continue next year. Uh, and I can tell you, those are the type of things you got to do to improve. Well, there's a big pass in the third penalty as Teddy Gaines tried to check Robert Baker in the end zone. That was an easy one to call there. Officials also coming over from the National yes, Football yes, League. We, we have every element that you need in the National Football League uh, over here. And this is really a, it's a, it's a training ground, but it's also opportunities, a second chance, something we didn't have. We have no, no second chance. No, I do just like, I know something about pass interference. I play with a bunch of guys that know a lot about pass interference. I mean, when you drape over a guy like that, there's yeah. no way. You, you got a good point up that. here. It'll be first and goal from the one-yard line. Oh, Off the play Ooh. fake, James Brown. He stopped running for some reason, lost his helmet, helmet. and a couple of yards as well. Well, we saw one goal line stand in the last series. You know, we are we going to see one from the Ryan Fire in this series? Well, you know, as I watch this game and I watch the momentum, it seems as if uh, Frankfurt's had it from the beginning. Yeah. And in any championship game, any big game, the team that gets the momentum seems to be the one that'll carry out, and it's hard to change it. And uh, right now, Frankfurt is down there. I didn't look like a busted play to me. I think they missed the handoff. I'd right. say I'd run right behind that fullback, McIntyre, here. He's in the game on second and goal. There's Adam Tate does just That's that. That's what they did. And gets in. into the end zone for the touchdown. That's what they did. It's not that hard. Gene. It's I know it's not hard. No, you take hard. your best back and your full back and behind your best lineman like Upshaw. And, you know, you just go run it. You know, well, you also got a guy that's a guard in the backfield. Yeah. I mean, he's knocking guys out of the hole. And you, you have that. You take advantage of it. Hey, Gene, before we, before we let you go here today, I mean, one of the things that we've talked about here is the national players and the development of players. Uh, in Europe and in Asia and elsewhere. 44, 44. Uh, do you believe that one day we could see the development of national players like we have in the NBA and in hockey and in baseball right now? Well, all we have to do is get one or two guys, and I think we're real uh, on the road to doing that, and I'm 
very optimistic that this year we might even have a couple of players that will get signed and, and, and stay around. One of the things that Paul and I have talked about is trying to make an exemption to our practice or developmental squad to get you to make sure that we have one guy from for each team that's that's you know a national player that, that would help that's the way you start you take union dues and euros no we won't take those <laughs> from those guys we just glad that they can come over and we can help them well we're glad you could take the time out to join us thanks a lot Gene. thank you guys thank you all right guys. back with more from world bowl 11 right after this the home depot is more than a store it's a toy box for dads and during Dad Days, now through June 15th, it's the best place to find the perfect gift for Dad at a guaranteed everyday low price. And if you pick $100 or more of any Black & Decker products, he'll get something extra special, a Home Depot gift card worth $20. Dad will love the gift, and you'll get something great in return. The Home Depot. You can do it. We can help. My name is David. I play offense. I play center. I play... I play defense, Vincent, and I play linebacker. I play running back. I play fullback. My name's Casey, and I play football. Lori thinks her boyfriend is cheating on her, so she's hired a gorgeous model to test his fidelity. You call it gone out, Yeah, drinks. Everything's fine with me. Busted. The new series, Anything from Love, premieres at 9, 8 central Monday on Fox. Well, here in Glasgow, Scotland for World Bowl 11, the Frankfurt Galaxy on the verge of being crowned, I guess, the capital city of NFL Europe as they win this championship. And since we're in the capital city of Scotland, we decided to turn to a native, Glaswegian, Scott Cooper from the Lynn side on the big city. Now, Scotland isn't just all golf courses and locks. Okay? Glasgow is Scotland's biggest city with almost 2 million people living in it and, and the surrounding area. In the 19th century, it used to be the cornerstone of heavy engineering around the world. Some of the world's biggest ships were built right here in the, in the Clyde. Yes, you can play golf, but there's a lot of... It's a city of diversity. In 1990, it was the city of culture for the whole of Europe. In 1999, it was the city of architecture for Europe. And when the sun shines, it's a great place to be. Back to you guys. You know, and today, uh, is celebrating being the city of sport for all of NFL Europe. They were voted that because they got the World Bowl here and a couple of huge soccer events as well. Well, it also, I think, is the one day of summer all year. <laughs> it's the nicest day I've ever seen in Glasgow. I, I've never seen sunshine from when you open up the curtains in the morning to this late in the day, ever. Straight well, the sun through. is shining for the Frankfurt Galaxy. They own a 32-9 to lead here late in the third quarter. Audrey Denson can't keep his feet. Everything going wrong for Ryan. As he lost the football, Ryan recovered. Frankfurt scored on a 99-yard drive on that last possession. Ryan staring a tough one in the face, and heck, even the sideline guys don't have much to do anymore, except work on the golf game, maybe, huh? when celebrity impersonators pull the wildest stunts, like these two legendary singers caught in a restaurant bra. Don't you touch me! Plus, this famous athlete gets teed off in public. I don't even know what I'm doing here! This is bullshit. Plus more in the new special Celebrity Lookalike Behavior, Monday at 8, 7 Central on Fox. Fox Tuesday, you've seen them strut their stuff. How dare you give me so much pleasure? And heard what the parents have to say. I think it's unfair she didn't make it. Now, meet the celebrity judges and cast your own vote when the first ten finalists perform live on stage and put their fate in your hands. You decide. You vote. American Juniors at 87 Central Fox Tuesday. Just 
some of the names that have graduated from this league and coming over here for seven years now I, I had to try to pick an all NFL Europe team and it was hard I mean you know Marcus Robinson and Schrader and Finner and but there's plenty of others and in, in the offensive line I'm leaving a lot of guys out including some guys that are playing this game like Jim Jones who will go to Baltimore and make that team this summer but uh, Nate Wayne just signed a big contract in Philadelphia this offseason you know Dwayne Hawthorne started at corner for the Cowboys last year uh, Willie Whitehead started eight games for New Orleans a year ago Leroy Glover one of our favorites all 16 starts with the Dallas Cowboys last year David Akers in the Pro Bowl as the Eagles kicker kicked here in Berlin about three or four years ago Dante Hall was in the Pro Bowl as the kick return specialist for the AFC now maybe someday they'll be on your old uh, Europe League team those yeah. guys well, well I think those so. fans there. <laughs> well they, they they travel now European fans will travel Kendall Newson pick up a nine yards on the first down and now, you see, had you know, 13%, and I know the commissioner talked about it, of all the players in the NFL have played in this league at some point. That means every time you watch a game, there are 22 guys on the field, two of them, yep. one on, on offense, one on defense, have yep. played in this league at some point. Yeah, you know, and, and you see the people over here, they follow those players back to the teams, you know, and they wear their respective jerseys. You saw Garcia's jersey from San Francisco there. Wow. When Erdl went for the interception, didn't make it. And it wound up giving Kendall Newson a lot of run after the catch yardage. He made a nice play. Well, you know, Yonertel made that play on the goal line that kept the Ryan Fire from scoring. And I said he's a big corner, and Green Bay has always liked big corners. Going back to Doug Evans and, you know, McKenzie out there right now, and he's got those kind of skills. He can't believe that he's got to hold his glove like this. That's a great catch by Kendall Newson. And then to stay in bounds, bounced himself and walked the tightrope. They pick up 18 yards. They go with an empty backfield, does Ryan on first down. Here comes the blitz. They got to Rolovich. He escaped temporarily, but not for long. Scrambled to pick up a yard in the end. Lewis Almanzer with the tackle. Well, I guess when you're up 32 to 9, you just want to pour it on. Because that time, Frankfurt came with the safety blitz. You don't see it very often. There was nobody in the deep field, and he's the one that came free because they sent six with only five blockers. Watch the safety watch up there right here. No safety, and there's nobody to pick him up. See, when teams go empty backfield, no running backs, usually most defenses will blitz that every time. Play fake. Rolovich being chased. Hey, completes that one out. Charlie Adams good enough for the first down to pick up of 11 on the play. The coordinator Bob Balasente of the Frankfurt Galaxy. You know, very, you know, one of those coaches that came over here, you know, he, he coached at the top of the mountain with the Green Bay Packers. Was in and Pittsburgh both Steelers. those Super Bowl teams in 96 yeah. and 97. Like wears his Super Bowl ring constantly, loves it, but he loves teaching in this league. Matt Stanley from the 49ers. And a big fullback making a couple of moves and picks up 12 yards. Jeremy Winertel finally stopped him. Well, Stanley in there because, as we said earlier, Frank Moreau, a big part of their running attack, injured his ankle in the first half and will not be able to play in the second half, so Bob Balasinte showing off that World Bowl ring is the key in on a different guy right now. Yeah, I mean, that's the Super Bowl ring from Green Bay right there. <clears throat> Brett Favre, the league MVP that season. And that was one. They just dominated that game from yeah. the start, remember? Yeah, Andre Rising catches that early touchdown yep. pass. Rolovich dumps it off to Stanley, who takes a big hit. Calvin Pearson popped it. Nick Rolovich has now completed nine straight passes. That is the end. That's the way to end the third quarter. The third completing quarter. nine in a row, but Ryan would like to get seven at some point. They've yet to score a touchdown today and go into the final quarter of the NFL Europe League season. World Bowl 11, all Frankfurt, right now 32-9. I'll get this. Getting a really low rate on this card. With the wrong credit card, your rate could blow sky high. Get the Capital One No Hassle card for the nation's lowest fixed rates. What's in your wallet? You're watching Fox Sports.
Jack says he can bring more food. Yeah, we got plenty of food. Says he can bring more ice. I'll set there, too. Says he can bring more mics. Tell him, mi casa es su casa. No matter what you're up to, a hard mics is good to find. Mind if I use your grill? Sure. It's long distance. No problem. The Hyundai Sonata, ranked most appealing entry midsize car. More standard features than a Toyota Camry LE, including a V6 engine. All for over 2,400 less when comparably equipped. Add in America's best warranty, 10 years, 100,000 miles, and you win. Test drive the Hyundai Sonata, starting at just 15,539. At your Hyundai dealer. Hurry in and get a 2003 Sonata with $1,000 cash back or 0% APR at your local Hyundai dealer. Sheila Hyland on Pittsburgh's Most Watched 10 o'clock newscast on Fox 53. Winning a Super Bowl is a dream come true. There's been 37 champions for a quarterback. There's only been 23 quarterbacks that have won it. It's incredible just to be in the NFL, but not alone. Being that elite class of uh, being a Super Bowl champion, that's what you work for in your career. And uh, only a few get to ever get that chance to say that they're a Super Bowl champion. Oh, and Brad Johnson got there this year. I mean, what a season by Brad. 62%. You know, career completion passer, and a guy that didn't start at Florida State. Drafted in the late round by the Minnesota Vikings, got an opportunity there, bounced around the league in Washington and some places, ended up in Tampa with John Gruden. And what a day he had in his championship game. Troy Aikman in attendance to uh, World Bowl 11 today. That Troy's got himself, what, about three rings? <laughs> yes, three. not about three, exactly yeah, three. Exactly three, right? That's what they're playing for, that World Bowl trophy. Nick Rolovich still in at quarterback. Hands it off to Matt Stanley. Stanley picks up about three yards on the play. Good enough for another Ryan first down. Well, Kurt, 11 years here of NFL Europe. I mean, this is what it says. Last year, by position, you know, 57 offensive linemen. You're talking about linemen all day today. That's why it's hard to pick uh, the best, right? It is. I mean, there's just so many guys in the league now. But, I mean, 16 kickers. I mean, half the league's kickers and punters have come out of this league, like David Akers and Adam Vinatieri. The defensive linemen up there. I mean, numbers at every position. Rolovich throws that one incomplete. And that stops that streak of nine straight completions by Rolovich. Well, you know, they're going up against the league's number one defense, and they, they look like it. Kept them out of the end zone. I mean, you're going to try and run a draw now against this defense. You know, in the area, you see Johnny Thomas in there. We talked about your Nurdle. Devin Finn, I mean, they rotate a lot of guys. That's the national there, Daniel Benetka. Four receivers in on second. They hand it off on the draw play. Matt Stanley going to fight his way for a pickup of four yards on the run. You know, just through three quarters, you can just graphically take a look at how much Frankfurt has dominated this game. I mean, almost 200 yards rushing for him from three different backs. You know, and then they, they, they've held the Ryan fire under 100 yards rushing. And, you know, even though Ryan's moved the ball, and they've got 20 first downs a lot. This area of the field, they haven't found the end zone. And that's what good defensive teams do. They keep you out of the end zone. On third down, they need the 10 for the first. Not going to get there. Charlie Adams wrapped up by Chris Cummings. About two yards short of the first down. So, down 32-9 to nine in the fourth quarter of a championship game. Is there any question? Do you go for it? Yeah, we got you, Kurt. Even though last time they were on the goal line, they got shut out. You know, by some great individual right, plays. Five Jeremy and Earl boys. putting a big hit on Lavelle Boyd. And then that middle defense, Johnny Thomas, hitting in the backfield. And then, you know, in the pressure to get the ball in the end zone, you know, just a quarterback exchange problem. Well, now they go for it on fourth down once again, needing to get to the 10-yard line. Flags down before the ball was snapped. The last offense, five-yard penalty. Oh, the play clock ran out on him. I think this team is almost better 
packing up five yards and making a fourth and seven then fourth and two why is that because it just seems like when it gets tight they've turned the ball over or they've had a big hit against them and they've run, tried to run it against them and they haven't been able to run it short yard now it gives them just a little bit more space to work with now we'll see they've got to get it exactly to the 10-yard line for the first down that's been their key guy charlie adams in this type of situation this year he's cutting across the middle of the field they go for the end zone instead and they draw the penalty flag kendall newson was the intended receiver chris pointer was running with him their feet got tangled and it looks like pointer's going to be the one pointed out for the penalty pass interference number 29 on the defense automatic First down. Well, they actually called it against Chris Cummings. But Pointer was the guy in the end zone with Newsom. Go well, take a look at it here. Rolovich has a little bit of time trying to float this ball and drop it in the basket. And there was the contact. And some of that right there is incidental, although there might have been something that happened before that that we couldn't see. Maybe because they spot the ball at the four-yard line. Matt Stanley picks up a yard. Rashidi Barnes in on the tackle. There's offensive coordinator Mike Jones trying to get seven points. His team has been close many times today. Settled for many field goals. It's a chess match there. Mike Jones, Bob Valicenti. You know, Mike Jones calls the defense, uh, calls the offensive play, then Bob sends the defensive play in. Look how tight everybody is inside the goal line. Rolovich. It's intercepted. Chris Pointer with the interception, and Frankfurt's number one ranked defense holds up again. Pointer was the guy who actually committed the pass interference penalty. Got a little revenge by getting the interception in the end zone to give Frankfurt the ball back and dash Ryan's hope one more time. Let's say this is you and this is your auto insurance company. You've always gotten along okay, but let's say this is Allstate. Ooh, looks better than what you got now, huh? Well, qualified drivers who call Allstate for a free auto quote can get a company this good for this kind of price. Maybe less. The choice is pretty simple, don't you think? So call Allstate now for an auto quote and find out how you're in good hands with Allstate. I think music does more to bring people together than any other one thing. As much as I travel, we're always looking for good radio stations that play good music and XM Radio gives me everything I need. Got a hundred different choices that I can make. Pop, country, rock and roll, news, talk, whatever. Right at this moment, uh, XM Radio is the best radio there is. XM Satellite Radio, featuring the only 24-hour NASCAR radio channel. This New York cop may be miles away from home, but he and his roommate are worlds apart. You know what would be good? What's that? Do you want food poisoning? Keen Annie, all new at 9 Fox Tuesday. Give Dad a gift he can chow down on. You ate all the free samples. Now you're eating men's flats. It's still better than Indian food. The Simpsons. Then, this Father's Day, be glad Bobby's not your son. He's just sitting there smelling things in his room. Oh, that boy ain't right. Bonus King of the Hill at a special time after The Simpsons at 8, Fox Sunday. World Bowl 11 on Fox is brought to you by New Odor Eaters Plus. The only art-supporting insole that protects against odor and wetness. Uh, some of the new architecture in downtown Glasgow. That's the Armadillo, the Science Institute. Some ultra-modern buildings surrounded by things that are 100 years old. Hundreds, Hundreds of years old. Yeah. There's the interception by Young in the end zone. I mean, they did a great job of stepping right in front of Emmett Johnson. 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 Here it is here. I mean, plenty of time. Throws off his back foot. Probably floated that ball a little bit more than he wanted to. But a good play in the air on the ball. He can't even get up to spike it. And Chris Pointer able to celebrate as that Frankfurt defense has yet to allow a touchdown in this game. No number one ranked defense has ever 
during the regular season has ever won the World Bowl Championship. Frankfurt on the verge of becoming the first to do so. Jonas Lewis attacked in the backfield and brought down right at the line of scrimmage. No gain. Well, they say defense wins championships, and Ryan has made several miscues today, but Frankfurt's defense has stopped them every time that it looked like Ryan might get right back into this ball game. Yeah, and those Frankfurt Galaxy fans travel now. I mean, you know, if this was in Frankfurt, they, you couldn't get a ticket to that city. You know, I mean, they would just be sold out like crazy, and they had 2,000 people that came in on private charters just this morning to get ready for the game. Quinn Gray, the quarterback. Throws it out to Jonas Lewis. Lewis picks up 10 yards on a first down. Well, here's one of the stories today. We're talking about the defense and Frankfurt, what they've done. And, you know, today, that Ryan Fire offense and that offensive line have gotten in that red zone in, inside that 20-yard area four times. You know, and they, they haven't been able, able to get any points. You know, and that, there's nothing that frustrates an offensive line more than that because you feel like you're winning. You can move the football. You're holding them out. You're down there to score, and you can't get it done. Lewis again on first down. Bouncing around. Picks up four yards on the run. You know, just looking at this league this year, Kurt, I thought the running backs were the best that they've ever been over here. I mean, Ken Simonton, we didn't get a chance to see him today from the Scottish Claymores. Really had a great season. He's going to Buffalo this year. He led the league in rushing. But Jonas Lewis and Archery Denson... And I mean, good backs on every team this season. Well, we see in this game, Adam Tate scored a touchdown for Frankfurt. We've also gotten a, a big game from Robert Gillespie, who has 85 yards. Is, that's Jonas Lewis one more time. But, you know, when a team has more than one running back that can get it done, it tells you how deep the crop has been. Well, it also shows how much confidence they have that you can play three running backs. And, and one of the things that Doug Graber told us was, he goes, you know, when I got three backs, I want to play them all, but they're also really good on special teams. So they cover kicks for us. They cover punts. They were the best in the league at covering punts all year. And, and a big reason is running backs that are healthy and big going down there to make plays. They have to cross the 40 for first. Baker fighting. Gets the first down. Watch out. Stays in bounds as well. And, boy, he's going every which way on that play. Oh, uh, yeah. He's electric. But don't forget, as soon as we are done here in Glasgow, we'll take you back to the States for a little interleague baseball action. Cardinals, Yankees, Braves, Mariners, and Dodgers, Indians, all coming up as baseball returns to Fox. How, how many more things can you put on top of a hat? I mean, can you stack it up any higher? And how do you get through doors? Hey, if you go through a doorway, and you know, and this thing just gets clipped off here at the top. I mean, how do you, how do you, do you get to duck down on That's that? That's why you have to be in an outdoor venue. If we were in a dome, we wouldn't fit. Lewis through the line of scrimmage, still going in the Ryan territory and dragged down by Terrence Dukes. Well, you know, what you can't see from the top of that hat is this Scottish guy is confused. Well, I mean, he's got the jersey on, but but then he, he's got a kilt on. And, and so if you're trying to get through a doorway and you got a kilt on, you got to bend down. And, you know, when you but that guys makes it easier, doesn't kilt, it? Yeah, but if a guy's been down a kilt, then you can see what's underneath the well, kilt. How is your kilt doing? I mean, here we are in the fourth quarter. You've been wearing it for a couple of hours. The sun's going you know, down. It's getting a little bit cooler. I kind of like it. You know, it's like natural ventilation. <laughs> Robert Gillespie now in a tailback. And Gillespie fights for four yards. Now, Kerr, look. This is the last comment about kills. I promise I won't talk about him anymore. But, you know, for offensive linemen, we got legs that just, they, they rub together all the way to your knees. And so, you know, when you got a kill, your legs, you got room. You got room in there, and they don't, you know, what, what happens is your Tell legs rub. And in here, you got space. You got room in there. You got jeans on, and you're just walking, you're rubbing your legs. So, together. why does that prevent your legs from rubbing? Don't you they can, still rub? They just rub no, you skin can walk, to skin no, instead? No, 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 you can walk like a true offense lineman. Quinn Gray going up for Mark Lester. Can't make the grab. Incomplete. Teddy Gaines right there with it. You know, this, this kid's really, really developed. You know, his father was his high school coach at Dillard High School in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. And he watches all of his son's games, and he's been really proud of what he's done. And uh, he's coached a lot of great players. Now, he, 
he calls his son up, and he's the hardest coach no. on Quinn there is. He's harder than the coaches in Frankfurt. He always tells them what he's doing wrong, what he doesn't like about it. Four wide receivers on third down. They need to 32. They get it. That's Mark Lester all the way down to the 27-yard line, and you see some of the great names yeah. that his father, Otis, has coached. Yeah, you know, and Otis, you know, those are just the three that, that everybody well, knows, but, I mean, there's a lot of other players that have played go. in the league, all like right, Brian right, Allen right, went to Florida State. He, his dad coached him. A lot of guys, Quinn's one of them, and uh, he's done a great job developing players at that program. Jonas Lewis with another big run. Lewis. Going to pick up 12 yards on the run. Jonas Lewis now has 15 carries for 127 yards rushing. 127, and the other back got 85. Well, you know, they're, they're putting up big numbers right now. And, uh, you know, one thing about these backs is the legs never stop. You know, a good back, if he gets hit, they, they never stop. It's like they practice running through the gauntlet. They split double teams. You know, and then they've had a lot of space, but they've done it because they've had great vision and their legs never quit. First down for the Galaxy. There's Lewis again. Well, this time they find a way to stop him. Jesse Warren gets him right at the line of scrimmage. Well, take a look at what they've done tonight. I'm over 200 yards rushing. You know, they came in averaging 135. Of course, you know, one of the reasons why we haven't seen the great plays from Robert Baker and Mark Lester is because they've done such a good job controlling the football on the go. ground. If you can run for 200, why throw? Over. Well, I mean, you know, it eliminates some of the things that, that are bad when yeah. you throw the football. Well, at this stage of the game, it also keeps the clock moving as they are less than five minutes away from clinching their third World Bowl championship. Gray rolling. Just throws that one away incomplete. No quarterback is out of the pocket. Well, you know, Quinn's trying to buy some time there, and he's relaxed. But really, you know, that offensive line, you know, Kafusi has stepped in there for David Proust at left tackle. Michael Moore, we talked about he was an, an all-league choice uh, this year. You know, Kendrick Rogers over at right tackle. I mean, that, those guys have played really well here all afternoon. Gray from the shotgun. Mark Lester being checked by Tony Lukens, who bats that one down. Incomplete. No flags on the play. Yeah, you know, Quinn wanted us a touchdown. But really, he got he got good protection that time from the right tackle, Kendrick Rogers. Well, he's gotten it all game. We talked about the run numbers, but they really haven't put a lot of pressure on the quarterbacks. Well, look at Rogers out here. I mean, this is, look at this. I mean, that's just a great job of washing him inside. 67. Taking Andre Arnold and just throwing him inside like that. So Ralph Kleiman on to attempt a 34-yard field goal. That one's low. It's ugly, but it's good. Kleiman, the German national who has been a member of all five Frankfurt Galaxy teams to make the World Bowl, on the verge of getting his third ring up 35-9. The Orlando Jones Show. It's like crack. You'll be back. <laughs> the news next week, only on FX. Check local listings. More of your neighbors are joining the crowd. The Fox 53, 10 news. Get all the news you need. The Fox 53, 10 news. A weather forecast you can rely on. The Fox 53, 10 news. And the sports you want. The Fox 53, 10 news. Get it all an hour earlier. The Fox 53, 10 o'clock news. Pittsburgh's most watched 10 p.m. news. Hey, if you've got a thirst, check what's happening around Pittsburgh with the Coors Light calendar update. Enjoy ice cold cores at the 2003 McSummerfest at Heritage Park in McDonald, PA, June 28th through July 5th. McDane's in Monroeville will gladly pour you a Coors Light draft for a buck every day, Monday through Friday. And the end zone in Mount Pleasant has Coors Light drafts for a buck or a bottle for just $1.50 every Tuesday. Stay tuned for more info on the Coors Light calendar update. Come home to a place of your own to the ones you love where the memories grow come home come home, come home. make it truly our own come home to our home come home come home, come home to ryan come home to ryan
Ryan Holmes. I'm um, Phoebe Buffay, and I have babies coming out of me. Whoa! Next, yes, friends. Monday at 6 on Fox 53. Frasier, one of the Fox 53 classic comedies, weeknights at 6 30. Celebration is just about to begin for the Frankfurt Galaxy, appearing in their fifth World Bowl. They won in 95 and 99 and are looking to become the first three-time winner. All they have to do is hang on for less than five more minutes, and their fans will have official reason to celebrate. But I guess they don't need anything official to celebrate those no, they, fans. They know how to do it, Kurt. They, they've had a lot of practice. In fact, that's what most games look like. But one guy that's been a member, you mentioned it, Kurt, Ralph Kleiman, the kicker here. No, he's from, he's from uh, Frankfurt, and... You know, he, he, he sat out the last three years. He went to work in his family's business. And one of the businesses is, is just a diner that his mother, his grandmother, cooks for. She's 89 years old, still 89 cooking. 89 years old. She's still in the kitchen, still making those German dishes. Which means a lot of sausages. A lot of pork. A lot of pork. A lot of, you know, sauerkraut and, and all those things. But, uh, you know, he was running both businesses. He said, you know what? Heck, I'm going to go play football. It's a heck of a lot more fun and easier way to make a living. A little squib kick picked up by Autry Denson. And Denson just runs it out of bounds. Closing moments of World Bowl 11. The Frankfurt Galaxy in control. Fox is sending 11 sexy singles to live in a tropical resort. But in this paradise, you have one week to hook up. I can usually close the deal with the girl within a week. Or you're out, and some sexy viewer will take your place for a chance to get lucky in Paradise Hotel, where you've got to be very good to get in. Sex is something that you just don't do right away. But very bad to stay. If I see something that I want, I'm going to go over and get it. Paradise Hotel premieres Wednesday at 9, 8 central on Fox. Parental discretion advised. Some people will do anything for love. Like Holly, she's still hooked on her ex, and you won't believe how she tries to win him back. What is this? I am so in love with you. I think you're with the wrong person. I don't want you to be with her. I want you to be with me. I do not believe that you're in love with somebody else. Ben, tell her whatever you want to tell her. You Have your say. I don't love her. You're making the biggest mistake of your entire life. Anything for love. Premieres Monday at 9, 8 central on Fox. Back down to the field and the third member of our crew. One more time. Scott Cooper, the Scotsman. Scotty. Yeah, hey guys. How are you doing? What, what's, what, what's going on with you right now? Basically, just uh, enjoying the atmosphere down here. I know how these guys feel. I was lucky enough to win a World Bowl in, uh, in 96, and they'll be getting that ring. And I'm holding one of the rings that uh, they'll be getting. It's a uh, similar design. Justin's doing a great job with them. And not only will the winning team get a ring, everyone who takes part in the game today We'll get this uh, World Bowl watch, World Bowl 11 watch. Again, designed by Justin. I've got to say I'm a little bit jealous. We went six and four, same as these two teams this year. And I've got to stand here, this side of the white lines, and watch those guys out there. Scotty, it sounds to me like this commentating thing is pretty hard because your voice is fading. You sound almost a little injured. Probably a little bit easier playing the game than it is to talk about it. Exactly. I, I would love to say I'd been cheering for the teams, but I can't say that I have. Um, no, actually, I, I look after flag football over here in Scotland. Again, try to get kids playing the, the, the great game of American football over here in Europe. And we were looking after the European flag football championships this week. I've been cheering on Scotland. Unfortunately, they didn't make it to the World Championships in Tokyo, but they did us proud. <laughs> well, Scott, I, I told you, after seven years, we're finally finally understanding what you say so we got to come back next year and have you do it again all right 
speaking slow as well, guys. You should hear me fast. <laughs> That's Scotty, tell me about the flag football in Scotland, though. I mean, I, I saw you throwing footballs yesterday. It sounds like the kids, you know, want to play this game. I mean, you see them with jerseys on all throughout the city right now. I mean, how much interest is there amongst the kids here in Glasgow? There's a, there's a load of interest, to be honest. When people see American football, whether it be in TV or, or in NFL Europe, they fall in love with it. It's so visual, it's so fast and colourful. The hits are big, the, the razzmatazz is great. And we're finding that, that kids, once they get a little taste of the sport, continue to play it, and they just they just fall in love with the game. That's what happened to me. I was lucky enough that I went professional and I'm still playing. But I'm hoping that one day there's a lot of Scotty Coopers out there. And one day I'm looking for a Scots guy to be playing in the NFL. Well, you know, we've got you right now, and that's all we need. Thank you very much. All right, thanks all right, a lot, Scott. Cheers. Well, Ryan tried to put together a quick drive here and, and get a touchdown on the board. And, you know, Scotty talked about having won a championship and Over. the way the sport here is spreading. And, you know, you and I walk around here in Glasgow, here and what's amazing Let's is you see rip, the kids rip. just throwing the ball to themselves up in the yeah. air, just playing catch, you know? Yeah, you know, and they're, 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 like, they're like almost old-fashioned kids. I mean, the kids look oh. like they just play so easy. That's all they do here. They, they, now, just give them a ball in the yard, and they, they just play forever. I haven't seen inside anyone's house, but instead of being in and playing video games, we see a lot of kids out on the street running around and just having a good time, enjoying themselves, and they all come out to the Claymore's games. Lance, Lance. See, you can't come to Scotland and not start talking like a Glaswegian. <laughs> it, it, it just does. It, it, it gets like that way sometimes. Lavelle Boyd gets down to the 10-yard line. It's hard. I got to fight it because that was a perfect play to Lavelle Boyd, and, and that, that's not really me, but I can't help it. it it's just contagious. Well, those guys from Frankfurt don't care what the language is. They're on the verge of being named champions. Chris Grison. Hey, hey. That ball tipped. Lavelle Boyd, the intended receiver. Well, don't forget that as soon as we are done here in Glasgow with World Bowl 11, Fox Saturday Baseball returns this afternoon at 3 o'clock Eastern time. Cardinals and Yankees, Braves and Mariners, Dodgers and Indians, and some intriguing interleague matchups. The Braves and Mariners, two best records in baseball. Cardinals and Yankees, even though Roger Clemens got his 300th win last night, the Yankees have really struggled the last month and a half of the season. Get off to that great start, and then been playing pretty average football since. Archery Denson okay, gets done. it down inside the five-yard line. How badly do you think the Ryan Fire wants seven just to say they at least got a touchdown in this game? Oh, they do. They, I mean, it just would make it feel a little bit better than they've been down here five times and they haven't scored anything. Please set the game for us two minutes. Thank you. That takes us to the two-minute warning. Two minutes left in the 2003 NFL Europe League season. World Bowl 11, all in favor of the Frankfurt Galaxy, 35 to 9. It was your favorite grill. Everything just the way it should be. Beef cooking over an open fire. The finest food on this green earth. Lettuce, you bet. Tomatoes, pickles, onions, pour them on. Remember now, the original Whopper. Still your favorite, all for $1.99. The grill's going at Burger King. We'd love to put a fire-grilled Whopper on for you. Burger King, come on over. The fire's ready. This summer, Fox is sending 11 sexy singles to live in a tropical resort. But in this paradise, you have one week to hook up or you're out. And some lucky viewer will take your place. Paradise Hotel, where you've got to be very good to get in and very bad to stay. Premieres at 9, 8 central Wednesday on Fox. Parental discretion advised. Fox Tuesday. You've seen them strut their stuff. How dare you give me so much and heard what the parents have to say. I think it's unfair she didn't make it. Now, meet the celebrity judges and cast your own vote when the first ten finalists perform live on stage and put their fate in your hands. You decide, you vote. American Juniors at 8, 7 Central, Fox Tuesday. This summer, smart kid like you, you've got to have a plan. Journey to a whole new world. You brought him home? He's not a criminal mastermind. He's a kid who has nowhere to go. The O.C. coming soon to Fox. Well, we thank the Glaswegians for the warm welcome and 
We welcome you back to the final two minutes of World Bowl 11. This has been, Baldy, you and I have been to these World Bowls. Seven yeah. years we've been covering this league. You see the excitement at the end of every game, no matter who wins. Yeah. The old Gatorade bucket. Yeah. You know, Daniel Panetka. <laughs> and they got Bob. You know, I don't know why these coaches don't know that's coming. You know, they can <laughs> coach, and they've got, you always talk to you about peripheral vision and all that kind of stuff, and they always get it. I mean, they, i never seen a coach get away from the Gatorade bucket before. But Richard Wood there and Doug Graber, Doug Graber talking about how he doesn't have a ring at any level. And all his other coaches have rings. He said he wanted to be a guy that finally got a ring. Bryson to the end zone, caught by the tight end, Dwayne Blakely. And the line fire get that touchdown. Well, somewhere in the stadium, Carl Peterson smiling because Blakely, a member of the Kansas City Chiefs. Well, it seemed like that was what well, was the hardest thing to do all day was to crack that end zone of Frankfurt. They had plenty of opportunities. Could have been a much tighter game, but give credit to the Frankfurt defense because they constantly made a great play to keep them out. Ingo and Bruga on for the extra point. And it's a 35-16 ball game. Dwayne Blakely's first touchdown reception of the year, but the celebration is already going in Frankfurt. With new Odor Eaters Plus. Odor Eaters Plus is the only insole that helps prevent tired, achy feet as it fights foot odor and wetness. Look, only Odor Eaters Plus gives podiatric arch support plus protection on demand against odor and wetness. The more protection you need, the more you get. Odor Eaters Plus. Arch Support Plus. No odor. Now I know I can control the anger. Bruce? Well, I get angry and I get into trouble. Trouble? I break stuff. <laughs> but it takes a lot for me to lose control. Thank you, Bruce. Edward? Uh, oh. <laughs> Obviously, we have more work to do. Fox tonight. Cops brings back Coco the hooker busting clown. So, uh, how about a little clown action? And he's not fooling around. <laughs> Cops. Come on. Then, police say this dance instructor is really a sexual predator who killed one of his students. Help us find him. America's Most Wanted. It all starts at 8, 7 Central tonight on Fox. Fox Monday. See what happens when celebrity impersonators pull the wildest stunts, like these two legendary singers caught in a restaurant bra. Don't you touch me! Plus, this famous athlete gets teed off in public. I don't even know what I'm doing here! This is bull****. Plus more in the new special Celebrity Lookalike Behavior, Monday at 8, 7 Central on Fox. Well, the Royal Bowl trophy being guarded under strict Scottish protection. And why not? It's a trophy that that guy, Commissioner Paul Tagliabue, will be happy to see go to the Frankfurt Galaxy. Happy just to see another World Bowl, another season completed in fine fashion. A season that, at the beginning of the year, there was some question as to whether or not they would even play because of the war situation in Iraq. And during the year, a lot of talk about whether or not this was the last NFL Europe season. Well, I think he's pleased with the way it went. And I think that uh, everybody looking at the future of this league can feel pretty good that it's not going to go away, and uh, they want to continue to develop it. Brian McDonald with running room. Takes it back into Ryan territory before being chased out at the 46-yard line, given 49 on the return. Yeah, Commissioner Tagliabue speaking with the media here in uh, Glasgow today before the game, making it clear that, you know, he, a lot of his quotes have been misinterpreted and, and people kind of ran with them that this league was on shaky ground. The owners do have a meeting in September to discuss the future of the league, but it's as much a information passing meeting, as much as a fact-finding mission as anything else. And as the commissioner has said, it's not that the owners are against it. They just want to know more about well, it. They want to know more information about it. They want to know if there's going to be expansion, where those cities might be. They want to know 
more things about the commissioner said maybe the national players should come over to the combine to be tested adam tate and another big run by the frankfurt galaxy well, and, and you know the one thing about the commissioner is he's not going to go back to the owners on september 17th without real knowledge without talking to all of the individual coaches here like he has this week to the general managers to the respective cities and to just what they can do to improve it i mean in frankfurt it's a solid program in dusseldorf it's a solid program they they want to build things up here in scotland in the barcelona adam tate falls forward and frankfurt now over the 250 yard rushing mark today in this game and that explains how they bowled him over huh well i think that maybe the way this week has gone here in glasgow and the fans that have come out to watch it i mean it's one of these things where it can be a magnet and a linchpin to next year into building a bigger fan base next year as i said we've been doing this for seven years this is about the best world bowl i think we've been a part of from the way it's been run by the league from the way the players have been treated from the way the fans have come out even though no home team was in this game you're right and you know you look down there right now at frankfurt and you look at the disappointment of Chris Grison and Ryan. You know, one thing about championship games, Kurt, is you prepare like heck. You, you get a little bit lucky. You stay healthy. You get it. And then nobody can ever take it away from you. And you're the champion forever. And, and players and coaches have always talked about this league that players never get closer than they do here. They all live together within a hotel. And they have to, you know, they've got to be able to get along with each other. And they do. And so the Frankfurt Galaxy are champions of the 2003 NFL Europe season. They win World Bowl 11, 35 to 16 over the Rhine Flyer. Doug, for Doug Graver, that's his first World Bowl championship, his first ring. It's three for the franchise in the city of Frankfurt. And I know for these players, it, it means a lot. You know, you work this hard, you want to have something to show for it at the end. And so these guys from Frankfurt going on to uh, NFL cities this summer, They'll go there with a smile on their face and a sense of real accomplishment. Right for the first team ever to win three World Bowl championships. Ryan, the first team ever to lose three times. We'll be back with the championship ceremonies here in Glasgow in just a bit. But now to Los Angeles, Jeannie Zelasco and Kevin Kennedy to set the table for baseball. Well, congratulations to the Frankfurt Galaxy getting a little greedy here, grabbing their third World Bowl title. We are just minutes away from this. All right, guys, the Frankfurt Galaxy jumped out to a sizable lead in the first quarter and never looked back. They win World Bowl 11, 35-16, the final over the Rhine Fire. <laughs> now, with a presentation of the World Bowl Championship Trophy to the victorious Galaxy, NFL Vice President... John Beek takes over. John?
And now to receive the World Bowl Trophy presented by John Beek, NFL Vice President of Football Operations, the NFL Europe League Coach of the Year, is now the coach of the World Bowl Champions for 2003, Frankfurt Galaxy's Doug Graybar. Congratulations to Doug Graver, all the players, the entire organization, coaches, Tillman, everybody who worked so hard to bring this championship to World Bowl 11. Doug Graver, congratulations from all of us at the NFL and NFL Europe. It's a, what an accomplishment. I know you've worked hard and it's been a journey. Enjoy it. Congratulations each and every one of you. What an accomplishment. Thank you, John. I tell you, this is a great honor for myself and this whole football team. And they won this because they're just that. They're a team. They worked hard. They got better every single week. And I tell you, I heard all the coaching staff, we're going to miss this team. Uh, I'm really, really sad to see this season end. Congratulations. And so the Frankfurt Galaxy are the champions of NFL Europe for the 2003 season. Oh, we thank you for joining us here on Fox for our coverage from NFL Europe once again this season. For my partner, Brian Baldinger, and everyone from Fox, so long. Stay tuned. Baseball is next. Yes, we did it now, baby. Come on, come on. No, they can coach, and they've got. They always talk to you about. It's an historic interleague showdown. Pool Holtz is once again powering the cards. Now they take on the Yanks lineup of stars. Historic franchises face off. Fox Saturday Baseball next. When the target's refreshment, a hard mic's is good to find. The Hyundai Santa Fe, a comparison. More standard features than a Toyota RAV4. All for over $1,000 less when comparably equipped. And only the Santa Fe is protected by America's best warranty. 10 years, 100,000 miles. Looks like we have a winner. Test drive the Hyundai Santa Fe, nicely equipped for just $17,634. At your Hyundai dealer. Hurry in and get a 2003 Santa Fe with $1,000 cash back or 0% APR at your local Hyundai dealer. The Fox 53 10 o'clock news gives you the news that's important to you by cutting through the clutter. The Fox 53 10 o'clock news. Pittsburgh's most watched 10 p.m. news.
welcome to the Radio Shack pregame show brought to you by Radio Shack. You've got questions, we've got answers. Welcome to Yankee Stadium. Now pitching. And just a big thank you to the fans here. It was unbelievable. I mean, I felt them in the first inning. I wish I could acknowledge them a little bit better and went on the fourth out and strike out, but it was, uh, it's in the middle of a game. After it's all said and done, I guess Yankee Stadium was a special place for him to do it. You know, the pinstripes from the first time he put them on, uh, he had a glow. 